not as unprepared. I did. I did. Oh. No, 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 no. I am. I. It's. There we go. See? It's, it's all good. <laughs> Let's just cover the game a little bit. Uh, yeah. I, uh. I, I have it open. So it's all good. Don't. It was not a mistake. Um, yeah. An hour and 12 minutes. That's fine. I brought a snack. Uh, I did have, um, a protein shake before the stream. Because I had food too late, so I couldn't really have a big meal before the stream. <laughs> it's all good, though. Um... Yeah, I d see, I'm like, <laughs> I'm a bit nervous <laughs> because I don't know what to expect and I'm also like scared that I'm going to be super confused or not get it or not react how you want it, me to react. Because for me, like, I'm so new that I don't know. Yeah, I'm not so much in the loop. Um, but we can, we can get started. Just make sure that the sound is okay. I guess the sound will be fine. We'll figure that out. Okay. Everybody ready? I'm ready. I think. <laughs> I'm nervous. Just press play. It's nothing. It's just a special program about, about a new area. That a lot of people have been waiting for for a very long time. Hydrate yourself in between there. There's so many new info. Really? Posture check. Hi, spring fan. Okay, am I sitting right? Am I in frame? I am. I have two water bottles. I'm good to go. If the sound, please let me know if the so sound is uh, okay or not. I think it's fine. Let me up it a little bit. Because I still want you guys to hear me when I talk. Teaser for Fontaine trailer was so good. I have, l like, I have avoided everything. I don't know anything. Okay, you guys are ready? I have my water bottles. I have a protein brownie. I'm good to go. Three, two, one, go. Something's happening. Ooh. <gasps> Magic. More magic. I'm sensing a theme. <laughs> Great intro, though. Yushin的们，我是你们老朋友大伟哥。这次依旧是由我来担任《原神》版本前瞻节目的主持人李勋哲，已经在提问室大陆上走过了漫长的旅途，和我们一起游历不同的地区，感受那些或悲或喜的故
Wait, 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 They're gonna throw us right in. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. <laughs> oh, okay. That was a really nice set. Also, great intro. Um, yeah. Yeah, you guys have been waiting for this a long time. For me, I'm like, I haven't even started yet on my adventure. But I'm very curious. Okay, trailer. Uh, is the sound okay or does it need to be a bit louder? I think for me, I'm going to put it a bit louder for myself. Tiny bit louder. Okay, cool. Then I'm just going to put it the same. I d yeah. Let me replay it a little bit so you guys can see if this is loud enough. <laughs> I think this sounds okay. Okay, let's go. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. Mm -hmm. The people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. I, Thosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation of Hydro, and acknowledge the value and significance of your trip. Now, you may rejoice in this. Opinion. Do you think it's right to treat a trial like it's an opera? To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. Welcome, one and all, to the opera Epicles. Watch carefully now. Blink and you might miss it. I understand the magician team now from in the Step beginning. Right up. <laughs> and over here is my sister Lynette, who will be working as my wonderful assistant. Ta da! Step on up! Let the magic begin! Here comes the finale! Kitty! of the world becomes part of this underwater museum too. I'm wait. Who am I? Ooh. The water is gradually swallowing our memories. It won't be long before it swallows us. We've been trying to find out how the Oratrice operates. We want to know why it has a consciousness. Why can it deliver sentences accurately? Rain. It's raining. 
We must know all we can about this nation's secrets in order to deal with that prophesized crisis. Is this part of the show? You've got to be kidding. What happened? Charges have now been pressed, and as such, a trial is in order. Therefore, you would be wise to tell everything you know and seek the protection of the guards. Dear God, it's a whole army of Gardamax. I believe this is indeed the finale! <laughs> your so-called justice, your beloved drama, while turning a blind eye to the suffering of the people. In your eyes, the value of a human life is nothing compared to those cold laws you hold so dear. We know that so this one. is how justice is done in Fontaine. What a joke. You've got your rules. Well, I've got mine too! Wow, that was a lot. I'm gonna pause a bit. That was so much. That was such a good trailer. So, there was so much. It was really good. Damn. Fontaine looks really cool. Like, very, like, art deco, but also steampunky. Like, it looked really, really cool. All these characters. I liked, like, the, the, mag the, the magician um, siblings. They're pretty cool. I liked how they look. I love how we're like being framed for something again. That's what it looked like. Um, so that's great. <laughs> I'm still being framed for something in the like in leeway right now. Uh, but yeah, that looks really great. Um, I'm a little bit like not fully in the loop with everything, but maybe that's that's normal. Or maybe like you guys are also not very much in the loop, but like. It looked, and also right the underwater thing. The underwater thing looked really great too. Characters looked also pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm excited. This is very far away for me. Uh, unless I, I really want to. Because I heard that they're gonna unlock um, a teleportation point. Uh, for a new player, like as soon as you reach, what is it, rank 20 or 25 or something, like it will open up. So technically, I could, it, I could go to Fontaine, um, but, you know, very far away. It looks really, really cool. That's super cool. And the characters look really good too. Waterlogged steampunk. Yeah, like the, the sort of like water ways. <laughs> Traveler, public enemy number one in every nation. So it seems unexpected child entry, right? I was like, hey, wait a minute, I know him. Fontaine with French team is perfect. Yeah, like it looks really good. Fontaine means fountain. Yeah, I, it makes sense, but it was very nice. It was very cool. That looked very good. That was a very good trailer. I really love the vibe, like the aesthetic, like that. Like I really like art deco stuff. Steampunk is also cool, but like, you know, I really like how it looks. And this had so much of it as well. It looks very cool. I can't wait for me to finally reach Fontaine. I'm very excited for you guys, like, you know, to have something new uh, and, like, have, like, a completely new area to explore and, and experience. Like, kind of what's happening for me, you guys are having it um, as well. So I'm very excited for you guys, and I hope you guys uh, have lots of fun with it. And, yeah, it looks great. Okay, we continue. I think you should also watch the Inazuma trailer since this will be your next big area. It's four minutes. I will do that. That's a good idea. I'll do that after the we watch the whole stream. Sorry, free please. It's still uh, it's still an hour. But uh, that is actually a good idea because that will be the next big thing for me. But hi, by the way, free please. Are you excited? 
Are you excited for uh, for the update? So like, I would too. I probably would. So like after um, Liwei, you go to Inazuma and then Sumeru. That makes sense. I did not watch the live stream yet, just the trailer, so I don't know what's coming in the stream now. Ooh! So there's more people that haven't watched it yet. Yeah. I, uh, I, d I thought it would be good for me to watch either way. It's fun. It's fun for you guys as well. You can see my reaction. Even though maybe it's not so over the top as some people might want. It's because, like, I don't tend to have, like, really over the top reactions. <laughs> But yeah, okay, let's continue. Well, I get changed the Lucinda, that you are the Dalla Mosia, that I can do a Sinsia, your true tea. Ginella, woman, yes, and so under the May, you wait, Tonsia, so that Budan, the Zanya, you know, a putting swell that you're your one for the Jew song, did that you are, has well as she ping when the Tondo to Chenshin the Wanfa, you know, and woman, it's here that you're in the Putong Jedan, don't go take a one jar, a movie scene again, Jue, a Sanshin Pimu and Daja, yes, seven the Hau Chi, Chida. 在新的这个世界区域封单，我们会收获哪些以往完全不同的体验呢？所以今天呢，我们也邀请到大家老朋友、项目组的战斗设计师基哥，为大家分享四点零版本的全新内容。嗯，那旅行者们，大家好。H
Yeah, that's pretty cool. That water is also contained in water. Water is a unique energy that uses a unique amount of water. But the length of the water is not limited to the water. Water also contains a large number of fluid streams. Close to these fluid streams, it can restore the water's water and life force. Uh, apart from the water's freedom and the water's freedom, we have also provided a quick and fast way to move through the water. It is called the flow of the water. In the flow of the water, the players will move quickly in the flow of the water. Even in the flow of the water, the players will move quickly. 移动期间，玩家也可以在洋流中自由地调整位置和视角，观看沿途的风景。呃，其实是一个观光的一个好办法。That's also really good. 除此之外，我们还在设计枫丹水下的时候呀，呃，总觉得这个枫丹的水体啊，它应该有一些更奇异的特性，<笑>所以我们也设计了一些比较特殊的水体。啊、呃，它们是完全啊悬浮在空中的。Oh. 那玩家也可以设法从各个角度去进入这些水体，呃，获取一些特殊的宝藏，或者直接把它们当做一种捷径来使用。那既然有特殊的水体呢，呃，自然也会有特殊的水底陆上区域。那枫丹的水下也有大量的被水体包裹着的陆上区域来供大家探索。啊，我们把特意的把这些区域啊设计的相对的比较通畅，呃，比较宽敞。那请大家也不用担心在其中探索会迷路。看来枫丹这个水下世界啊，远比我想象的要更加丰富有趣啊！我已经迫不及待的想要进入。Wait, wait, wait, wait. Isn't that like the area that they're standing in right now? Isn't that like you know? Look, it looks like it, right? This is where they're standing. How awesome is that? That's so cool. Anyway, I really like the the that they were very creative with it as well. That they're like, oh yeah, we have them in the in the. It's hard to read subtitles and watch the landscape at the same. I know, like, and they talk very fast. <laughs> so I'm really trying my best to read everything. That's why I'm not always reacting because I just, it's, yeah, I might pause. This is going to take way longer than an hour. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, this is, it's really, it's really good. By the way, have you ever seen Please Dive animation? No, I don't think, what do you mean with like, I, I don't think so, Blue Sun, actually. I don't think so. Uh, be your quan chan. Yeah, this is where they they're standing. It's the set. 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 It's the 那这部分内容呢，我可以从战斗设计师的角度跟大家去聊一聊啊。一般来说啊，《原神》的版本内容规划我们都启动的比较早，像潜水这种年度的规划就可能会更早了。不夸张的说啊，初次提及类似的想法，大概已经是两年前了。哎，那真的是从很早很早就开始筹备了啊。没错。哎，那么我想问问看基哥，嗯，最早咱们想要做提瓦特的水下是出于什么样的这个目的呢？嗯，最初的这个想法其实挺简单的，就是觉得啊，开放世界嘛。他没有水下探索，就总感觉少了点什么。那、呃、当然了，我们理性的来看这个问题啊，为了做而做，其实是比较盲目的一个决定。所以呢，从那以后的一年，其实我们做了很多事情去权衡和规划，怎样去做到水下的内容品质能够符合标准，还能做得有趣，还要有记忆点啊、呃，而不是单纯的作为一个路上体验的这么一个水下版本。所以最后呢，我们选择了一个对玩家。和对团队，呃，其实都能接受的一个方案，就是在未来的枫丹的年度版本里面，我们把水下作为一个枫丹的核心内容之一，以最大的设计精力和人力进行投入，来创作一个全新的、比较有可玩性的这样的一个水下世界。哎，我其实有点这个好奇啊，这个枫丹的水下和陆地的这个占比啊，大概是个什么样的这个比例呢？既然是枫丹的核心内容之一啊，我们认为水下。在枫丹区域占的比例，至少在大世界探索这个维度上，要和陆地五五开，那才足够。实际上呢，可能随着版本的开放节奏，这个比例会有些出入，但大抵是达到了这样一个预期。哎，我也想代表这个玩家啊，问问看基哥，我们水下这个玩法它具体是怎么做出来的？在这个制作的过程中，我猜应该遇到了不少棘手的难题吧？啊，那这个问题啊，那大伟哥是问到点子上了，这个里面问题可。I'm gonna pause real quick. I like. From what he was saying, like how how they really like thought out, um, 
the 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 underwater stuff and the, what they wanted to make of it from what we've seen so far at least in my what i think um from what i can see it looks very good i mean they really did a good job and like kept a lot of things in mind like for example the currents and stuff um and and the points where you can get like the the hp and the stamina back up and and it just also looks really good i also like that they really like um kept in mind like look we're in 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 the hydro area so like the the water should be around 50 50 which is also really really cool it looks really good i can show you the dive animation later okay that's good i'll try not to pa pause too much like <laughs> 在设计水下内容的过程中，我们从自己过去的设计以及这些年尝试过水下内容的其他游戏身上，都吸取了很多的经验和教训。第一个问题呢，是氛围的营造。水下呀，作为原神地图的一部分，我们也希望吸引尽
She's Tori asks a question. Like, I, that's true. Like, a lot of extra, th because, like, you can think, like, okay, underwater stuff. But if you have to keep everything in mind, it's true. Like, there's so many extra things that, to, that, that get added to it that can make it diff very difficult. Like, the motion sickness. Like, I have I I don't really get motion sick while playing games. The only times I do get motion sick is um with VR goggles sometimes. I can get motion sick. But I can imagine if if you are a little bit sensitive to it like and you're in underwater where like it's not just like on land like you you can go basically any direction underwater like you need to make it in a way that that it's not that it doesn't cause like disorientation and and nausea and all these things and then indeed the combat like they uh they had to work really really hard on this and it looks really really good they did a very good job so i mean we can only really comment on if they did a good job once you play it of course but like from what i can tell they did a really really good job i'm very impressed it's pretty cool yeah i'm not saying much because i'm trying to read and i know that if i maybe say something and people are reading the subtitles they might also be like damn it <laughs> i missed it because I can, I can recognize it because sometimes I've been in a room and I've been trying to read and somebody was like watching something in the same language as what I'm reading. It's very difficult. So um, I'm trying to read and then remember the things that I want to say. Sometimes I might say something. Game dev job is really, yeah, for sure. Especially on, on this big of a, I mean, it's, it's, it is like, um, it is insane anyway, but like on this big of a scale, like it's, it's like incredible. PV Fabulous,我们就观察到有细心的玩家在讨论出场的风丹角色神之眼好像和其他地区有不同的款式设计。啊，这个也被大家发现了。好像看到有细心的玩家在讨论出场的风丹角色神之眼好像和其他地区有不
they were already posted earlier, but if you haven't claimed it, you can go claim it there. I think, like, man, people behind Genshin Impact are doing, like, a really good job. Because, yeah, it has a lot of players. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a very, a very cute little video, though. can't wait for well I can't wait for myself to play but I also can't wait for you guys to play Ooh. oh it actually does something <laughs> like skip this by the way if you guys want but these are like cute little trailers by the way did you redeem your codes i did i did them earlier i saw them on twitter and i redeemed them already um i thought that would be easier to do than do it during the the stream actually so i have claimed them already but if you guys haven't Please remember to do so. I use the app Genshin Helper to redeem codes. That works. That's very... That's actually very handy. I recently even also installed the app because I sometimes forget to claim my rewards. And I don't want that. So now that I think about it... game is almost downloaded. I had to wait a whole day. Look at this set, also just so great. Uh, Look at those treats on the table. It takes a day to download Genshin, now that's almost advertising, right? It took me a couple of hours too, but I um, I shared the internet with a couple of other people, so I don't want to clog like the line. So when I when I initially downloaded it, it it took me a bit longer than three hours, honestly. So, um, but they were outside. I mean, they probably also put like a sort like I don't know. Downloading over 5G might all, might take a day. <laughs> okay, man, look at those treats. <laughs> They're having a tea. I also want waffles and these macarons and all these little cakes and stuff. Hmm. <laughs> 
。对于在之前探索过须弥地区的旅行者来说呢，只要跟随我们主线的步伐，就能轻松地抵达海陆港，乘坐全提瓦特独一无二的交通工具——巡轨船，前往枫丹国最重要的城市枫丹亭了。啊，当然呢，为了帮助大家顺畅便捷地进行旅行，对于还没有开拓沙漠地区版图的朋友呢， like、我们也准备了其他的方案。<笑>呃，我们理解，就是刚进入提瓦特不久的旅行者啊，可能需要跋涉很远才能到达枫丹。因此呢，在 4.0 版本更新之后，对于所有完成《魔神任务》序章第三幕《巨龙与自由之歌》的旅行者。啊，地图上须弥弗罗右这个靠近枫丹的传送点就会自动解锁，大家就可以借助它快速的来到枫丹边境了。呃，这巡轨船啊，看起来就比我想象的厉害。那枫丹的技术力啊，果然不一般，而且还有好几条线路啊，通往不同的地方。啊、呃，是的，呃，枫丹水道呢，一共有三条线路，连接海陆港和总站的克莱门汀线，啊、呃，通往伊里耶岛的纳维亚线，以及原本通往枫丹动能工程科学研究院方向的卡雷斯线。那么在巡轨船上呢，大家能够极目远眺，将周边的美景呢尽收眼底，还能听到我们可爱的小导游对于沿途的地标还有枫丹一些特有的风土人情的介绍。哎，又是游船又有导游啊，突然就有了一种放慢节奏啊，舒舒服服享受旅游的感觉啊。哎，我刚才注意到我们的导游朋友好像长得跟人类不太一样啊。对，啊，这种可爱的生灵呢叫做美露星，他们原本生活在与世隔绝的村落当中。尽管他们外表看起来都是小个子，连手脚都短短的，但是呢，他们拥有着一种与生俱来的特殊视觉，能够看见人类难以观察到的东西，所以更加容易找到坏人的线索。也是出于这个原因呢，呃，竹影亭的故园现在大多都是美露星。竹影亭，我还是第一次听到这个名字。对，呃，这是一个直接隶属于最高审判官的特别刑侦机构。啊、呃，那么枫丹的组织架构，如果要在这里展开的话，还挺复杂的，啊、呃，可能具体的细节呢，就留待啊、呃、各位旅行者进行探索吧。说到最高审判官啊，在枫丹这个以正义与审判为主题的国度，他似乎是一位无论从存在感还是地位来说都很强的人物啊。我记得在须弥主线的最后，小草僧纳西达也提到过他，还提到枫丹的运转建立在一套关于正义的审判体系之上。对这种说法，我还是挺纳闷的。呃，这就要从我们枫丹的特殊能源体系开始讲起了。刚才鸡哥啊，也为我们提到了史基利这个概念。枫丹整个地区啊，都给人一种比较发达、先进的印象，使用的能源应该都很不一般吧？枫丹科学院的创立者阿兰吉约丹，在四百多年前发明了一套叫做“可控芒荒烟灭能量”的能量模块。那至今呢，枫丹大多数的发条机关都依靠这一体系运作。旅行者们呢，在野外遭遇的形态各异的机关敌人，也都是由这种能量所驱动的。而在枫丹人生活和娱乐比较密集的区域，比如说枫丹亭，啊、呃，还有伊利耶岛，则主要是依靠一种叫做绿长混能这种能源来满足大家日常生活所需，包括照明呀，然后驱动各种交通工具，支撑城市方方面面的运作等等。而要问绿长混能是如何产生的呢？它是通过审判的过程，借由一个叫做预示裁定书机的机器，收集人们对于正义的信仰，最终转化成能量的。由机器收集信仰，听着还挺有意思的。所以枫丹人才那么热衷审判吗？这是主要的原因。啊、呃，另一方面呢，枫丹的审判可能并不像大伟哥此前设想的那么严肃。这由审判亭名为欧毕克莱歌剧院，就可以窥见一二了。审判是枫丹最重要的公众活动，但这个行为呢，同时也被普遍化和娱乐化了。啊，就像莎士比亚口中说过：“人是一舞台，众生皆灵优。”在水神弗宁娜的影响下，审判呢，它也是一种演出，啊，真实与虚幻、闹剧和悲剧平等的上演。而我们这位水神热爱并期待着舞台上一切的惊喜和反转。看来水神是一位性格非常张扬跳脱的角色，但作为一国之神。听着稍微有点不正经啊，这样真的没问题啊？呃，对，没问题吧？对，对，对吗？哈哈哈，看来小龙浩同学啊，对于涉及到主线剧情的部分口风很紧啊。那有什么能给我们简单透露一点的吗？啊、呃，那就让我们从林尼和林尼特这对兄妹开始讲起吧。他们也将是旅行者在枫丹地区首先遇到的角色。哦，足迹 PV 里面的老朋友了，但当时啊，大家还不知道这对兄妹的身份。呃，魔术师啊，感觉很神秘啊，也不知道去哪里才能看到他们的演出呢。在枫丹的魔神任务第一幕
《白鹿与黑潮》的叙事中，林尼与林尼特将首次登上欧毕克莱歌剧院的舞台，在旅行者面前掀开盛大演出的帷幕，敬请各位玩家朋友期待了。啊，至于平时吗？我推荐的地点就是枫丹的德波大饭店，啊，那里的老板经常会邀请艺术家到餐厅里面进行演出，运气好的话就能欣赏到两位精彩绝伦的魔术秀了。这也是眼下最受观众期待的节目。So、哇，人气那么高，有什么秘诀吗？啊，我想除了魔术表演本身精妙的设计和意外性之外呢，更多仰赖的还是大魔术师林尼他的个人魅力吧。啊，身为魔术表演者的林尼，就像观众一样追求着新鲜感。在声名鹊起之后呢，他也从未安于现状，而是不断精进自己的技术，啊，创造更为新颖、更加夺人眼球的魔术。啊，另一方面呢，林尼也十分擅长营造演出氛围，往往会在情绪层层铺垫之后，选取恰当的时机，最终呢，就引爆惊喜的礼花。旅行者们呢，也可以在 4.0 版本中通过体验林尼的传说任务、被遗忘的怪盗，了解更多关于他的故事。他笑起来的样子啊，真是充满了自信的魅力啊，好像从来不会害怕失误或者危险。他在战斗中也是这么游刃有余吗？呃，林尼呢是一位运用火元素的弓箭角色，在战斗中，他往往会发射影剧魔术箭命中敌人，召唤一顶能够嘲讽周围敌人的怪笑猫猫帽，并选取时机将它引爆，造成伤害。而元素爆发大魔术灵气巡游，则能让它化形为快速移动怪笑帽帽猫。啊，降下华丽焰火，引爆灿烂的花。它有一个固有天赋，叫做琐碎观察术，还能帮助大家在小地图上标记出附近枫丹区域特产的位置。这个技能说明啊，我都不敢再念一遍。<笑>是的，怪笑猫猫猫和怪笑猫猫猫是两种不同的魔术道具。哎，那作为林尼的妹妹林尼特，是不是同样身怀绝技？嗯，没错。身为魔术助手，同时也是舞台上最接近魔术师的人。林尼特同样有着高超的魔术造诣，兄妹两人往往一起啊、呃，一位吸引观众的注意，另一位呢在背后完成手法，彼此轮转，依靠天衣无缝的配合，呈现出精彩的演出。但从性格上来说，林尼特要低调，恬静得多。他习惯将自己藏在林尼身后，避开人们的关注，看起来呢总是在发呆，最多就是全神贯注地待在角落里面品茶。但实际上，林尼特拥有非常敏锐的观察力，早就在暗中记下了种种细节，并捕捉到了很多关键的信息。一个在明，一个在暗，这种台上台下的默契，真的让人很羡慕。在战斗中呢，林尼特能够以迷身引道的姿态疾走，并向标记到的敌人击出迷人突刺。而林尼特的元素爆发能够变出巨大的惊奇猫猫盒，嘲讽并对周围的敌人造成风元素伤害。这个惊奇猫猫盒。还能和其他元素产生互动，不愧是魔术助手啊，把这点都考虑到了啊。虽然低调，但也很专业。说到专业啊，我记得他们还有一位名叫菲米的弟弟是吧？好像是个厉害的潜水员。嗯，没错。跟哥哥姐姐不同的是，菲米尼他并不喜欢抛头露面的场合，他呢有意识地拉开了自己和灯光还有人群的距离，喜欢在独属于他的海底畅游，和水下生物作伴，也喜欢阅读童话故事。或者呢，在夜深人静的时候，全身心地沉浸在拆解和维修小型机械之中。当然，这里面有一部分是被林尼特不小心弄坏的。哎，听着是一个心地纯真的男孩，但是有点内向。这一部分呢，也与他的成长经历比较息息相关。好在生活当中呢，林尼与林尼特对他很是照顾。他还有一只陪伴在身边的发条企鹅，名字叫佩伊。在战斗中，菲米尼能够通过元素战技浮冰增压，进入佩伊克技状态。并根据压力阶级进行不同的攻击，而当菲米尼使用元素爆发之后，元素战绩还将得到更进一步的强化。既然菲米尼是一位潜水员，用它来探索水下世界，是不是就算专业对口呢？啊，没错。当菲米尼在队伍中的时候呢，队伍里自己的角色水中耐力消耗将降低百分之三十五，的确能够帮助各位旅行者呀更高效的去进行水下冒险。This is no time for this. Let me pause real quick. Lina is a dedicated support for Lina. That would make sense. It kind of well. I mean, I guess she'll it'll work uh without the other as well. But I think like yeah, they they probably are both at their best when when you both have them in a team, which is smart. Like you know, smart marketing. Because <laughs> if you want one of them. You, uh, you're gonna kind of need the other one as well. Clean needs that penguin. He, like, well, does she? 
<laughs> the penguin is really cute though. I didn't know the other one was also a sibling. That's cool that they're all siblings. That's actually really cool. Like, I, I really like that. The little... I mean, they all have little stories, but I just haven't experienced it yet. But it's really... Yeah, she can plant the bomb into it and let it walk in the monster. But the poor penguin! Don't destroy the poor penguin! Okay, I guess these are their character trailers, right? Okay. Distractions! Seriously, you have a great magician standing right here. You don't want to miss the best part, do you? Man, the whole ma magician thing is so cool. Now disappear. Also the cat. Let's get this show on the road. Look at it. <laughs> Seems Lenny is saying some strange things again. It's really worrying. Ooh. It's easy to fix a machine when you know how it's built and how it works. But people, they're much more difficult. That is true. Pear! Commencing cleanup! That's the <laughs> game. 是不是可以揭晓新版本活动起源的具体安排了 <laughs> I, I need to make sure that I can get him. I, like, I need, I need to be able to get Zhongli, like... Like... You're too early! <laughs> You're too early! I'm not ready yet to go for another 5 star. <laughs> oh... We'll, I'll get it. Let's just keep watching. The chance of success will increase in large numbers. Have not yet decided, old friends, to bring the team along. You should seize the opportunity. Besides, the brand new five star weapon, the first Star Machine, will appear in the event of the Wuqi Event. Yes. When I was looking at the PV before, I had noticed some new eyes. For example, the one with the red hair and the red hair of the Nawaiya Lady. If I don't know wrong, there is a river that is named after her, right? Is it not? Yes. 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 大卫亚是自媒会的现任会长身为大小姐的他性格乐观至于严肃公正的最高审判官纳维莱特大伟哥刚刚就很在意的性格跳脱的水神福宁娜还有提前和大家见过面到处追求着大新闻的真气鸟报记者夏洛蒂都将在四眼零版本的魔神任务中登场
不变的信念，我们希望能为玩家献上一个足够壮大，让大家沉浸其中的崭新的幻想世界，希望能创作出并呈现一位位性格各异、特色鲜明的角色，让这个世界中的每一段旅途都充满趣味。我们希望旅行者们能够不断地邂逅新的故事和伙伴。与那些值得信赖的人们并肩展开冒险，去收获更多的快乐和回忆。我们原神 IP 团队从零开始，一步步构建出如今的世界观，今后也会继续在此基础上不断地去发展，力求进步，力求为大家献上更多优秀和感人的故事。旅行者的足迹，勾勒地图的过程，实际上也是我们递交给玩家的一份份答卷。谢谢小罗奥同学啊，真情实意的分享。让我也对枫丹乃自提瓦特大陆上后续发生的故事都充满了期待。Me too. 那么就请大家稍事休息。Short break. 那稍后呢，还会有场景美术和战斗设计师同学为我们带来枫丹场景生态和怪物的分享，精彩继续哦。Another code. If you haven't grabbed it yet, go and grab it. Monka, is I know free. Please, I know I. It's not my fault. My friend is wishing for Zhongli too, and I'm wishing for Child. Good luck to everyone. Yeah, good luck to everyone. I hope you get the ones that you want. I hope I'll get Zhongli. The chances are really low, but it's okay. Have you seen the other Fontaine trailer, The Final Feast? No, I haven't seen anything. Like, everything I'm seeing here is the first time I'm watching literally anything. What if Nahida comes after Zhongli? Then Nahida is then then sucks. Su that's too bad. Sucks to be uh. <laughs> that would that would be even be worse. But I don't have a strong connection, like a strong feeling of wanting to to have. 都说一方水土养一方人，在了解。To like, I I have a really strong. Like feeling of really wanting to get Zhongli, Zhongli, and I don't have it as strongly with Nahida. So I guess if I have to pick, I'd have to go for Geo Daddy. My fear is Nevilet coming after Zhongli. She won't. We already know who's coming next. Ah,、uh, yeah, after. Oh, you just have to watch the Nahida trailer, and she will be all you. <laughs> We'll have to. I still haven't watched the trailers. Maybe I should, but maybe I'll do that、um, in the future. Not now. I'm watching this already. It's an hour. 演完枫丹的角色与剧情后啊，其实我对于枫丹的地图也非常的好奇，到底是什么样的国度能孕育出这些有趣的人物和故事？那么接下来啊，就请我们的超级美术阿德，战斗设计师林斌，为我们分享枫丹地区的地貌与生态吧。旅行者们好，又和大家见面了。我是原神的场景美术阿泽，很荣幸能够为大家讲解枫丹这个新地区的场景设计理念。旅行者们好，很高兴能够来到今天的节目现场。我是水下战斗设计师林冰，今天也会着重为大家介绍枫丹地区的新怪物与新生物。哎，我想先问问阿泽啊，我们都知道在提瓦特啊，不同的地区都有自己独特的美术气质，那么枫丹地区啊，整体上呈现的是哪种感觉呢？我们在设计枫丹的时候，整体的美术气质是想表达清新、优雅、精致的感觉。我们也提供了多样化、丰富的视觉内容，其中最具特色也是投入精力最多的是板块抬升、人文建筑、水下生态这三部分。这里的板块抬升是指什么呢？阿泽来给我们简单介绍一下吧。其实啊，在我们第一次来到枫丹的时候，就能够马上看到这个奇观了。在某种神秘力量的影响下，整个枫丹的板块都被抬升了起来，与提瓦特其他地区形成了巨大的落差。也正是因为这个原因，让我们的枫丹形成了这种连绵几千米、高三百多米的巨型瀑布，看起来非常壮观。早听说过枫丹有一个瀑布、啊，但没想到如此的巨大、啊。确实，这个现象在设定上也是有一些故事的，在这里就先不展开了。不过可以分享的是，制作这么巨大的瀑布，其实在我们的美术和技术上都给我们团队带来了非常大的挑战。我们也进行了很多尝试去克服这些问题。哦，那这部分可以详细讲讲吗？好的。比如板块抬升之后，枫丹和其他地区的海平面就不在同一个高度了。那么连接这些地区，它们之间的逻辑是需要更加合理一些的。再比如这么大这么长的瀑布，其实要做好是需要非常多的美术细节的，这些对性能都是一个极大的挑战。以及大家或多或少都知道，水的渲染层级问题一直是业内的一个技术挑战。
。哎，那这么高的瀑布啊，我们怎么上去呀、啊？啊，那自然不会让旅行者们爬上去的。其实大家可以乘坐一种特殊的升降机， oh, 它可以在云层中登上瀑布。<笑>呃，原来如此啊，能看出大家在制作的过程中考虑的非常周全。是的。所以，我们也真诚地希望旅行者们能够喜欢。接下来，我们一起来看一看芬兰的自然风貌和人文建筑吧。哦，我正好也想了解这些呢。哎，我们在做自然风貌与人文建筑设计的时候，是会去采风吗？还是会做一些有趣的研究吗 ？Let me pause real quick. Hi, Brownie. If you are using Zhongli, you can forget about dodging. Ah,、uh, yeah, with the shield. Yeah, this and Inazuma after. That's enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Inazuma, we have to watch as well. They put love and effort into everything, but they never managed to catch their eye with the camera. I think it's. I think they 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 just think they have to look at a different camera. I don't know. I would feel awkward looking at the camera too. I don't do it here either. I barely. I never look at the camera. It's like once every. Every little bit. I feel Fontaine Quest is going to be much better than Inazuma Quest. I have high hopes for、T、Fontaine's Quest. I, it's, uh, it looks pretty cool. I the, like. I'm not even thinking about that. I'm still so m deep into Leeway that yeah. But. I'm very excited for you guys. As soon as it's out, and you're you guys are playing it, you need to tell me what you think. No spoilers though. How many redeem codes? There are three, I think. There are three redeem codes, and so far we've seen two. Let's continue watching. 是的，我们先聊聊自然风貌部分吧。在设计的时候，我们会从欧洲，特别是法国地区，抓取一些灵感。比如在山体上吸收了部分阿尔卑斯山脉的特征，植被我们也寻找了很多当地特色的植被作为参考。不过这里不得不提一下，植被设计的时候对我们造成了一些困扰，因为枫丹的灵感来源是欧洲嘛。在蒙德的时候，其实我们已经做过类似的表达。由于地区相近，本身的植被生态呢也非常的相似，所以说如何做出枫丹特色，对我们来说是一个挑战。嗯，哎，明白了，其实就是要自我超越啊。那么最终这个难点是怎么克服的呢？后来，项目组的同学经过研究和探索，最终从十八世纪的一些欧洲油画里找到了灵感。其中一些大师的作品真是令人陶醉，那种朦胧唯美的感觉非常符合我们想要的美术表现。我们从中抓取了一些造型特征，使枫丹普通的雪松啊、闪松等植被变得更加优雅，具有枫丹特色。哎，所以说啊，还是会从历史与艺术中获得灵感与沉淀呀。确实，除了自然风貌，枫丹的人文建筑同样是一次非常大胆的尝试。在我们的设定中，由于大洪水的灾难、多次的淹没和重建，让枫丹亭高墙聚垒、气势磅礴。用心的旅行者甚至可以发现，其实，在枫丹的海床上还遗留着部分被淹没的旧城遗迹。嗯、旧城遗迹啊，原来枫丹亭还有这么悠久的历史啊！是啊，枫丹亭内既有精致优雅的上层区，也有充满着生活气息的居民区，当然，也有相对艰苦混搭的下层区。在整个组成的设计上，我们是以巴洛克建筑风格为基底，把水、齿轮、发条等元素结合起来，以 Art Deco 类艺术风格构建完成。除组成之外呢，枫丹还有很多具有特色的区域，比如充满故事性、由大船构建完成的白松镇，还有可爱、神秘、连烟囱都冒着泡泡的海墨村，以及忧郁凄美、散落着泪滴的水下之城。也许你在世界的某个地方还能见到这座温馨精致的庭院，一旁的向日葵会和你一起享受这份静谧的美好。哎，我看今天咱们的布景啊，就是以这座枫丹庭院为原型的呀。确实，在惊险刺激的探险之余，也存在着这样的地方可供旅行者小憩。如果旅行者来到秘境，会发现很多齿轮发条在转动，仿佛进入了一个精密器械的内部。哎，阿泽多次聊了很多齿轮呐、啊、机械啊之类的内容。我想这应该是枫丹的特色之一吧。我们好像在之前的前瞻节目中也有看到过一些机械卫兵。嗯，确实，旅行者们在枫丹各处漫步的过程中，时不时会遇到一些有着精密结构的机械装置，它们由枫丹人制造，用于进行生产和守卫的工作。这些机械装置统称为发条机关，每一种都是为了特定的工作而设计的。除了大比哥刚刚提到的，为了警戒和防卫而专门设计的机械卫兵，他们有的还可以海底勘探，有的可以环境侦查，有的可以挖掘采集。
。面对普通的风难公民时，发条机关会按照预设的程序进行工作，而一旦附近的生物干扰了工作的正常进行，他们就会尝试进行驱逐。对对，他们还是由盲荒能量驱动的，是这个吧？确实。就像小罗浩同学说的，风当人会利用盲荒能量与绿肠混能这两种特殊能源来维持很多体系的运作。其中，荒芒湮灭能量模块会用在发条机关上。具体的原理是，发条机关利用中继器从风丹的环境中提炼荒性与芒性产生能量。所以在风丹之外的区域，他们就只能通过预先准备的能量块进行短程短时的行动了。很有意思的设计啊！风当人制作发条机关还有什么特殊用途吗？嗯，本来是没有的。纯粹的工作属性就是发条机关的价值，然而总有顶尖机械制造师不满足于止步于此，他们希望赋予这些机器艺术的价值。戈培利亚和科培留斯这两台表演用的舞蹈机器人便诞生了。So、pretty, 不过，机械师梅亚德在接手后，又将他们改造成了战斗用机器人。现在，帮助机械师收集战斗数据成为了他们的主要功能。那在设计的过程中，我们参考了欧洲中世纪的舞蹈，结合花样滑冰的动作，让玩家可以与他们共同演绎一出冰封组曲，在战斗过程中获得完全不同的共舞体验。虽然看起来就很不好对付、啊，但不得不说，冰封组曲的设计很优雅呢。不过说起风丹啊，旅行者们最感兴趣的可能还是水下生态，毕竟是全新的领域嘛。哎，阿泽和我们聊聊水下的设计呗。玩家初次到达的水下其实是浅海区域。曾经这里并不是海，因为海平面的上升淹没了这些区域。细心的观察会发现，很多地方还保留了陆地和人文的痕迹。由于大家是第一次在提瓦特潜水，为了让大家能够在水下过渡更加舒适，所以我们在视觉设计上也做了相对清淡明快一些，造型和色彩上也相对概括收敛。相比陆地，水下的山石更具有海浪的造型。植被设计是以简约清新的色块构成，线条上则运用了很多曲线柔美的感觉。哦，对了。我们还做了色彩丰富、种类繁多的鱼群、水母等海洋生物，会在玩家游玩过程中伴随着它。除了基础的水下生态以外啊，水下那些怪物是不是也是这个道理啊？确实，尽管风丹的水下怪物原型都是基于现实世界中存在的海洋生物，我们在设计的时候呢，也竭力削弱其与深海恐怖的关联。那最后所呈现出来的呢，便是远海异种这一族群。族群中会有一些佼佼者进化出了腹肌元素力的部位，在陆地上时，这些部位的元素力会被激活。使其可以使用元素力的技能，还可以一定程度上保护自己。不过，水下的远海异种们比较喜欢祥和安逸的氛围，不会远远的就对旅行者展开追击。但如果旅行者惊扰了他们，他们动起手来，哎，也绝对不含糊。哎，而这样的一个族群也会有一些凶猛的大家伙。在四点零版本，旅行者们将有机会在某个洞穴的深处见到远海异种进化到最终形态的霸主——铁甲熔火帝王。看他的身形啊，十分威猛呀。背后好像还有一个小火山，和刚才看到的这种远海异种，在外形上差别很大。嗯，确实，铁甲熔火帝王的性格暴躁易怒，攻击也充满了侵略性。他背部的小火山其实是可以发射火球的火炮，想必现在的他正在等待着一位值得挑战的对手来和他掰一掰手腕。看来又是一位有实力的对手呢。我听说在风带啊，还有许多有意思的小动物可以和旅行者互动。确实。这也是风丹与众不同的地方之一。我们设计小动物的时候，参考了现实生物的性格与外观，同时又加入了一些幻想要素，让他们在提瓦特的世界里活灵活现了起来。比如会在旅行者面前做贝壳表演的悠悠海獭，好奇心旺盛的鱼鸥，摇摆轮唱开音乐会的伞雀等等。相信他们能够为大家在风丹的旅途中增添不少趣味与欢乐。大自然的生命力是无限的，在提瓦特也不例外啊。好的。两位同学的分享可以说是干货满满，让我对风丹的场景与生态都有了更加清晰的感受。团队一些研发过程中的思考也很有意思。那其实我知道，四点零版本还有很多惊喜等待着大家亲自去体验，对吧？是的，风丹的风景还有很多。那么更多的奇幻之旅，就让我们在四点零版本一起描绘吧。千万不要走开，还有活动以及系统优化部分的内容等待着大家。后面的节目更加精彩。<笑> I didn't want to interrupt them. Program will continue in three minutes. Actually, that's good. I'm gonna take a quick break. So I don't know if I'll be. No, it's okay. I'll. I, we can. Uh, we can continue watching. And then after, um, the, the video, I will take a quick break, and then we'll watch the, uh. 
the Inazuma or Sumeru the Inazuma trailer. The couple boss looks really cool and that other thing with the volcano also looks pretty cool. It all looks really nice, like the design of all the enemies and stuff looks really good. I am gonna skip through the... the two minutes. Hello 每次原神更新新国家的时候啊那这这么大的城市里那这一次呢我们在发条工坊的门口他是工坊老板利福啊认为这是一个非常好的风丹文化符号为了展现出决斗代理人级别的本领同时需要躲避水下的各种障碍旅行者们需要通过操纵一种叫做冒险家玩具的道具这就等待各位旅行者通过玩具战争态势图开启活动剧情来了解了
通过活动界面呢，我们可以标注出目标物的附集点位，在到达推荐点位附近的时候啊，小地图上还会有显示提醒。帮助对枫丹还不熟悉的旅行者们来顺利完成挑战。哎，听起来啊，这个活动对我们探索枫丹区域很有帮助呀。哎，没错。那除了博物通知、水国寻迹以外呢，四点零版本还有一个拍照活动——光影岩穴、以你水界，这也可以帮助大家快速完成旅行者们需要根据任务提示拍摄指定的枫丹景观或者生物来完成委托。如果旅行者呢对枫丹还不够熟悉，暂时找不到需要记录的事物，也可以前往活动界面上的推荐的地方去寻找。好耶，是我最喜欢的拍照活动了。呃，除此之外呢，四点零版本我们还会有一个战斗挑战活动，叫导刃破决。这个活动当中呢，除了常规的战斗手段，每一个关卡还会有独特的导刃虚景机制。旅行者们可以灵活利用导刃虚景，来有效地降低战斗的难度，战胜眼前的敌人。另外啊，活动还有着多种难度可以供旅行者们挑战。那对自身实力有自信的旅行者们，可以尝试挑战一下更高的难度。另外啊，在四点零版本中，我们还会再次开启地脉移泳活动，旅行者们请不要错过哦。哎，聊了这么多枫丹的活动啊，感觉我对枫丹的期待又多了一分啊。是的，我个人和旅行者们一样，期待枫丹的到来。对于期待枫丹新角色的旅行者们啊，我还带来一个好消息，那就是在四点零版本更新后，当旅行者的冒险等阶达到二十五级之后，就可以在活动面板通过活动“魔术永不落幕”免费领取四星角色林尼特。而且因为考虑到啊，刚进入提瓦特不久的旅行者们在培养枫丹角色的时候，可能比较难以获得对应的素材，所以在旅行者们领取林尼特时，还会同时获得突破他一阶段所需要的材料。这便于我们前期培养角色使用。太好了，能直接获得一些到枫丹才能采集到的素材。哎，是的，这样一来啊，喜欢林尼特的旅行者们就可以更快的将它编入队伍。That's pretty cool。说到角色，四点零版本中还会有全新的角色装备带给大家。此次啊，我们总共推出了十二把全新武器，除了之前已经在卡池展示过的最初的大模型外，还有一套可锻造武器、一套计型武器，以及在钓鱼商店可领取的特殊武器。其中啊，五把锻造武器的图纸，大家可以在枫丹亭的铁匠铺找到伊斯代来兑换。另外啊，此次新增加的五把四星的计型武器，会进入三十级计型的奖励箱中。在添加新计型武器的同时啊，我们也保留了以前旧的计型武器。那这样的话，旅行者就可以在新旧共十把武器当中啊自由选择了。与此同时啊，我们也推出了两套全新圣衣物——烛影猎人与黄金剧团。旅行者们可以通过挑战全新的祝圣秘境“最祸的周末”来获取。最后啊，我还想问问看啊，四点零版本还有什么系统优化与更新方面的消息可以告诉我们吗？哎，当然是有的。那既然是年度版本的开端啊，我们必然会着重解决于现在最困扰玩家的问题，以及优化游戏当中尚有不足的部分。这一次啊，给大家带来的是分层地图和配对界面的优化。另外啊，我们的七圣召唤呢，也增加了观战模式。四点零版本将会时装分层地图功能，我们希望它能够提升玩家的探索体验。分层地图是一个我个人也很喜欢的功能，我们可以通过切换地图层级来查看想要了解的区域。That's very handy. 当进入有分层地图的区域时，小地图啊就会自动切换为显示分层地图的样子。当回到提瓦特大地图界面时，啊小地图显示就变回我们熟悉的老样子。而选中了任何位于其他层的点，那么系统也会直接切换为显示对应层的地图。旅行者们打开分层地图，系统还会高亮显示同层点的角标，哎，还是挺方便的。嗯，这是一个很实用的功能啊。哎，是的，除了四点零即将上线的新地区会实装分层地图功能以外啊，我们还会对已经上线的部分区域更新分层地图，帮助玩家更好的在这些区域探索。哦。也就是说，四点零或者是荒海这样的地方，我们也能在四点零更新后看到他们的分层地图了。嗯，没错啊。另外啊，我们也对角色配对界面进行了全面的改造，在四点零版本后，配对界面会以更加动态的方式进行呈现。我们为每一位角色都重新设计了入队和换位的效果。哎，等一下，这真的是每名角色在配对界面都有独特的出场演出吗？完全没错。每一名角色啊，在加入队伍的时候都有一段独特的动画。我们在调整角色在队伍中的顺序的时候，也可以看到他们充满个性的演出。哎，值得一提的是啊，配对界面的背景还有许多种。旅行者们在不同场景下进入这个配对界面，背景啊还会随之切换。那更多的背景呢，就等待旅行者们在四点零版本后自己去发现了。哇
，雷电将军的配对效果好酷啊！是的，那最后啊，大家很关心的七圣召唤的观战功能也会在四点零版本正式上线，玩家可以通过好友界面或者联机界面，选择观战自己的好友或者联机队友正在进行的七圣召唤对局。如果玩家和对战双方均在同一个大世界，还支持以裁判视角来进行观战，掌控全局。如果玩家不太希望其他人观战自己的对局，也可以在七圣召唤的局面设置当中进行设置哦。哎，不错，这样一来啊，我和牌友们又多了一种互动的方式呢。哎，我已经迫不及待的想和他们分享讨论了。呃，不过今天啊，还有最后一些重要内容要和大家分享。呃，休息片刻回来，马上揭晓。God damn! Now they bring this after I have everything at 100%. Ah, oh, free please. <laughs> well, at least you can't laugh with me struggling because I will have an upgraded map. Here's the last code, by the way, if you guys haven't done like claimed it yet. The pipe sword looks really good, though. <laughs> I like it. Also, really nice that you can um, you actually get. Um, Lynette, that's cool. That means like everybody basically will get her. I think that's nice because she did she did look cool, and it's cool that like you're giving everyone a chance to get like a Fontaine character. That's pretty cool. And also the option to like immediately like ascend her. That you get the materials because that is what what I'm. Wait, that's what I'm having issues with right now because I I wanna send Yao Yao to put her in my team and I can't because I'm still in leeway. And then you can say like yeah you can like rush to the area so you can, you know, farm those materials. But I don't want that. I want to follow along with the story. So like she won't be part of my. Of my um of my team for quite a long time, so it's pretty cool that like even for like very new players or players like me that are interested in these characters, that there is like the option for it. Hi, Hira. I really thought I wouldn't be able to watch it, but I found time. That's nice. I'm glad. I we're almost done watching. Only ten more minutes. 大家回到四点零版本的前瞻特别节目，接下来又到了我们的保留节目。随着四点零版本的到来，万众期待的枫丹音乐也如期而至。Oh, music! 接下来我们为旅行者带来了枫丹音乐的交响现场实录，让我们一起身临其境， oh. 感受枫丹的音乐魅力吧。They have music. That's so cool. I need to shut up then. Use alchemy to transform materials. Oh, I can.
此次原声的音乐制作团队 h o y a Mix 与我们的老朋友伦敦交响乐团合作，在演奏中加入了 Glass、so、Harmonica 这类与水息息相关的特殊乐器，希望能从听觉上表现出枫丹水之国的特点。而在接下来的 4.0 版本中，还会有更多优美动听的枫丹音乐伴随着旅行者，展开更多冒险篇章。好了。我们今天的前瞻节目到这里也接近尾声了，我们的四点零版本也将在八月十六日如期与玩家朋友们见面。感谢大家一直以来对原神的支持，祝各位的枫丹之旅也充满乐趣。See you in Fontaine, travelers. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I like that. It's really quiet now. So <laughs> wait, let me uh, let me fix that real quick. <laughs> there was constant like stuff going on, and then when there's nothing, it's really quiet. That was a really good stream. My very first one. Music was great. I can understand why you like the the Genshin concerts for sure. That music is very very good and very enjoyable too. Interesting, like instruments as well, and like it makes sense because I was like, man, you have to come up with that. But like, considering how deep they're going with like design and stuff, it makes sense that they also like really think about instruments that that make sense. And they have to find people that can play those instruments too. It's very good. The thing with the glass harmonica is it's very expensive and very easy to break just by playing. And if you break it, you're rubbing your fingers on broken glass. And it... Right. I didn't even think about that too. That's just damn okay. Imagine though, you're ruining your fingers too. Can't even play anymore. You have to be very good at playing it then. But yeah, like find someone that can play this. It's a very niche like, like it's the same with like the, the crit like the glasses. You need to know what to do with that. It's very impressive. Okay, I I'm gonna take a really quick break and then we will watch um, the. The trailer that Free Please suggested, and then I will play a little bit, because I am a fe feeling a bit tired, so it might not be a very long stream. I apologize, um, but I'll be back on Sunday though. But yeah, we'll watch that trailer, um, and then we play a bit. I think that's a good idea. I will be right back. See you in a bit.
Hello, I'm back. I'm sorry. I, I took a bite of a brownie. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not gonna start again when my mouth is full. <laughs> uh, it's one of these again. They're tasty. I'm vegan. Okay. <gasps> Bufu! Hi, how are you? Okay, free please. Send me a link and we can watch. How are you, Bufu? Let me take... No, we're not gonna do another bite. Because that's not... I'm also okay -ish. Uh, yesterday was worse, today is okay, but I'm very tired, so I, uh, I might not be doing a very long stream as what I normally would. What bite? I took a from... Oh, you can't see because of the light. <laughs> it's, a, it's a vegan protein brownie. A vegan high protein brownie. <laughs> They're a really nice snack. I try not to eat them too much because I'm trying to eat healthily but sometimes I need it okay thank you free please let's watch this um, this is the trailer no sh uh, n for Inazuma which is old news for you guys but since I haven't seen it yet like, I've not watched anything about Genshin. Um, and we just watched Fontaine, but Fontaine is really far away from me unless I, like, teleport there. Which I might do, but maybe not. Um, but for me, Inazuma is new. So it's actually a great thing to watch for me right now because it is going to be the next area that I go to as soon as I'm finished with Liyue. And I say as soon as I'm finished. I, I don't know how long... It's gonna take still, but I feel it's gonna take a while still. But it's something to look forward to. Um, yeah. Ooh, you made brownies? Oh, that sounds so good. I didn't make anything. Uh, I made um, sweet potato. I fried it in the pan in a wok. Like with some olive oil, salt, and cinnamon, actually with my salad pretty good you will probably want to teleport to fontaine in order to do the events which is the main source of primos yeah the <laughs> the thing is man i'm gonna have to install it on my phone <sighs> i leave pretty soon after it after it's uh it is there so yeah 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 and then i can't play because this is stuff i need to do on the stream <laughs> left on the pick is brownie with cheesecake middle brownies right side muffin are you kidding me really don't show this to me i'm it is that, it is, it is, it is that period for me again. And now you're sending me all these tasty things and I can't have them. <laughs> the cheesecake one looks so good. I'm sorry if like what I just said is not very nice for you guys to hear, but I, I'm, uh, it's okay, it's natural. <laughs> That's also why I'm not, not gonna be streaming so long. That takes time in Zhongli is peeking around the corner. I know. <laughs> See, okay, but here's the thing. 4.0 comes out the 16th. And I leave the 18th. So I'm screwed, basically. <laughs> I'll be gone for two weeks. 
just set up a GeoDaddy donation goal. I probably will. Right now it is actually a family visiting goal. I forgot to update it. Um, it's still the daily donation goal right now, but... But yeah, try getting the teleport of, at Hills of Barson. Yeah, I think, I think I can get there anyway. Um, I'm gonna try to do a stream on the 17th, so maybe we can like look at things a bit, but I leave the 18th and I only come back the 31st. So right in the middle, right smack dab in the middle of everything. It is gonna no Bufu, it's not, it's not Bufu, Bufu, Zhongli, Zhongli is gonna be there, and I know it's gonna be in September, and I'll have time, but still, I would really like it. We'll be fine. A lot of things can happen in a month. A lot of things can happen. Um, yeah. So, by the way, daily donation goal. No, it's this side. <laughs> I'm trying to save up for the trip to visit. I am going, but yeah, I'm saving up for it a little bit because, oh well, that's what happens when you move to a different country and you don't live in the same country as your family anymore. Um, I'll be fine. It will unlock when you finish the months that are conquest. Yeah, and we did that, so I think I'm good. I'm screwed too. On the 18th of August, Pad of Excel New League starts. I will be gone for two weeks too. Oh, that's right. Tanya told me. Tanya's like, yeah, we were we were actually both talking yesterday. We were talking about the stream. Since like we both started um, playing these. I started playing Genshin and she started playing Path of Exile and we were like talking about it. And I was talking about how Fontaine was gonna happen and 4.0 and she was like yeah and there's a new league in, like on the 18 I'll be screwed so it's uh and you play both free please so that's that's pretty funny I'll be fine I already thought about I first of all I thought about doing an IRL stream when I'm in Belgium maybe on my phone um I'll see we'll see what we'll do but yeah, damn. Yeah, I so so now you guys know I'll be visiting my family um, in two weeks, which will be fun because I haven't seen them since May, which might it's not that long ago, but I haven't seen my grandma in real life since February, and I've only seen her like for a little bit back then. And the circumstances weren't so great. And then in May, when I went to visit, I got sick for my whole visit. I arrived and like a day later, I was sick. <laughs> and it didn't, and I was sick for the rest of the like week and a half. Or like, yeah. So, and I, then I couldn't visit her. So now I am. I am going to visit her. I'm very excited. But I thought about it. If you guys are interested in that, I don't know. I've never done it. I've never streamed from my phone either. Um, I have a laptop, but it's not great for streaming. The fans are really loud too, so that's also a thing. Um, and I don't think I can stream Genshin from my phone. Uh, but yeah, that's I just mentioned that. That like in two weeks I'll be gone for a little bit. So I'm gonna try to edit so you guys have some content, which, my, which is gonna be content that you've already seen if you watch my streams um but still i think it's still interesting anyway we are gonna quickly watch did why why did it why did it wait no that's a different internet why do i have two internet ones that's confusing um we're gonna watch the trailer for inazuma which is i'm excited for fontaine but this is closer to f <laughs> more achievable for me, I guess. Uh, and I haven't seen it, so this is also going to be interesting. 
the tank has been clean. Good job, Shaven. Stream was good. We listened to some music. We're now gonna watch the, the trailer for Inazuma. Uh, Free Please gave me that idea and it was actually really good because I haven't seen it. And it's 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 good. So let's let me quickly turn off the background music and turn up the the internet sound a little bit again and then let me watch this real quick when you're in Azuma watch the Sumeru one yeah I think that's a good idea okay Mondstadt is the city of freedom and Leo is the city of contracts as for Inazuma it's known as the nation of eternity the almighty Shogun, focused exclusively on her single goal of implementing eternity. I know of a way to introduce you to the Raiden Shogun. But before that, there is one other place I was hoping you both would accompany me to. When a person's ambition reaches a certain strength, the gods look upon them with favor. In other words, a person's vision represents their ambition. It must be a possession, right? I see. That reminds me. It seems that his vision was recently confiscated. It's just like that feeling of emptiness. The feeling that something is... missing. For to be stripped of one's vision is to be stripped of one's... ambition. As one who is thrown into the sea, though he fights back desperately against his predicament, it does nothing to prevent his descent into the depths. was correct the wind that blows from afar carries fresh life to these shores perhaps in the eyes of a deity such as the almighty shogun the lives of those who inhabit the world are inconsequential at present in inazuma in the name of the vision hunt decree the people's aspirations are being senselessly trampled underfoot Thus, we cannot remain indifferent to this situation without also remaining indifferent to our own fate. Now, it is time for me to honor my word! I await your instruction. My apologies! Kami Sato Art! Sumetsu! Do not forget that challenging the Vision Hunt Decree is tantamount to challenging a deity. When you are ready, go to Hanamizaka and look for a fireworks shop run by the Naganohara family. There, you will find someone who can help you. Allow me to introduce myself. A festive reprise! I'm Yoimiya. <laughs> Great to meet ya. have rallied together under Sangonomiya on Watatsumi Island to form a resistance group. Remove all threats to eternity by order of the almighty Shogun! Adopted daughter of the Kudra clan of the Terio Commission. She's also a general in the Shogun's army. The resistance never betrays its own. A ceremony, you say? Why would such a task be left to the Terio Commission? The wait is over, my comrades. Be inlaid upon this statue. Damn, that was so intense. That was so intense. It was so cool. I'm glad we did it. We watched this. It looks really, really cool. 
so much memories with Inazuma. I bet. Most elegant women. Woman. Yo and Mia is you, Dana. No, it isn't. Good that my team is Yo and Mia, Sayu, and Rin Shogun full in it. That's cool. Welcome to Dragon's Fight. No, don't say that. That was a very intense trailer. Damn. I can't wait. See, now I'm excited and I'm like, damn, I have to wait for so long still. Damn it. <laughs> it looks really cool. The land of spicy air, spicy trees, spicy water. Oh no. Oh, I have an email. Ah, uh, yeah, I did a daily check-in, that's true. Um, okay, let me quickly change my... my title again. Type, 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 type. I hope the typing sound is okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I like a while ago changed my keycaps and my my um my switches, and I really like it. I already talked about it before. Feels very sort of Genshiny now. Well, not really. It's more planetary, but uh, I don't know. I felt like it was it. It was fitting. Let me, oh, let me quickly change change the lighting so you can actually. No, nope, that's too bright. Look at that. No, this way. So pretty, so girly and pink too. Typical me. <laughs> I love everything pink. Typing ASMR when maybe I should do a typing stream just like totally random like go live don't say anything What the hell is that my keyboard? Don't be mean Don't don't do that. I'm like so happy with my keyboard Your keyboard is so oh, thank you. Yeah, I love it so much uh, This is like now like I this I I have like the keycaps it came with like with it and then I have other ones and now recently I put these on and now with these I'm like yes this is how my keyboard is supposed to look like though I have a bunch of other like keycap sets on my Amazon wish list so like I think it's a girly thing like wanting to look it look to look like that yeah I think so I just really like pink, cute, and like girly things. Why do you think I have these? You should see my 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 mouse mat. Actually, don't. It's really dirty, and I can't get it clean anymore. That's what happens when you eat at your desk. But it's a pink pusheen one, and it's like a big one, and it says gamer. Just like look up um, big. Like Excel um, Pusheen mouse mat or something, and then you'll get you'll get um, what it looks like. I kind of want to take a bite again. I'm sorry. Mhm. Mm I'm slightly hungry. There's a reason why. I went with the extremely pink Nintendo 3DS. <laughs> okay. We have commissions. Mm. And world quests. Quite some. So let's do the commissions first. And then see. Hmm, where are they? They're all pretty far away. Let's do this one first. 
Just a couple. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's also why I want those really, really, really cute pastel uh, Nintendo Switch controllers. I saw them and I was like, oh. I'm copying Emiru with 100 pink plushies in the background. Oh no, we're not doing that. I mean, this is still my bedroom too. Um, and... Look, I can get started. Like, I have, um, you know, we have this one. This one is on my couch. This is Corny. I used to sleep with, with Corny quite a bit. Um, but then I got an upgrade for Corny. I will get them. Don't look at my pants. This is not what I was wearing, but I wanted to be comfortable. So I'm wearing comfy pants that don't really go with the top, but I was like, nobody sees my pants, but now I'm standing up. So like, that's maybe, you know what? I'm just gonna do, no, it's just like really comfy pants. This is Broink. I got Broink as a gift. Together with the pink um, gamer chair that I was sitting on before, my back was like, this is not working anymore. That's true, it was a lot more pink. And then I had to give it up for this, this chair, which is like, this chair is much better. So like, if I could get a new one, I would get this one in pink. I'm not even joking. <laughs> they have it in pink. And I was like, aww. No, I'm very grateful for Cherise uh, that she was, uh, she, she gave me her chair because my back was so bad. But yeah, I have pink plushies, but I'm not, that's not, it's not going to take over. The, the, this is it. Maybe like in the future, I might rearrange my room, like the layout of it. But for, actually, I'm very happy with how it looks. So this is the background that you're going to get. <laughs> Not much going on, but I think that's okay. Let me navigate to this one, because that's the one that we're doing. Totoko, where are you? And defeat all the opponents. La, la, la. You can sleep on the plushies. Can you imagine? Trying to get his shield. Body and witness of power. There you are. Okay. You can try to dive animation on Starfell Lake or any cliff near water. That's good to know. Let me quickly grab these things that are laying around. No, no. Let go. Don't climb up. One did you say Starfell Lake? Where is that actually? Is that more here? It doesn't seem it doesn't sound like a name that's like aha here. Let me quickly teleport, won't hurt. It won't hurt. But yeah, if Shaven is still here, Shaven knows Broink. Broink actually sleeps 
with me in bed every night <laughs> together with my duck plushie that I got from my friend Morao um, whose name is Mr. Ki Mr. Kim I don't know why go near a high edge with ah yeah over there wait let me quickly actually see if I can offer anything here no, I already gave everything that I had. And we're not really hanging out. Oh wait, is that what just didn't did she just do it? Did she just cannonball? La, la, la. No. Yeah, like she did she cannonballed, right? I did it wasn't paying attention, but I was like, wait, did she just like tuck her knees in? Like That was adorable. No, it's because I'm near rocks. I need to... That's what it is. Let me try again. I'll get it. It's okay. I can't believe we're just trying to watch her do a cannonball. Klee, you did it the first time. We I wasn't pay paying attention. You need to do it again. Maybe I need to run. No. She's she's being she's being stubborn. So it do doesn't become a running jump. Okay. Okay, let's try one more time. <laughs> she did it here, right? Perfect angle, true. Like, <laughs> let's do it again. <laughs> She's adorable. Wait, I need it from now. I want to watch it from every angle. That's fucking adorable. That's so cute. I shouldn't swear when I say that. Okay. Okay, now we, we need to do commissions, guys. Let's go to Wang Shu Im because I guess I guess that one dude needs me again. It's it's so that was so cute. That was really cute. Okay. You rang? What is it this time? It's just one thing after another. I mean, that's what I was thinking when I saw it was you again. This location, it's a real challenge to run an inn here. I mean, it could just be me, but I feel like we're seeing more and more monsters around these parts recently. They wouldn't dare come anywhere near the inn itself, but guests need to get in and out. And the Millilit can't be here all the time. If you're free, do you think you could take a look around and clear out any monsters nearby? Okay. Haha, <laughs> I must say I do find your forthrightness refreshing. Speaking of tiring jobs, I do feel bad making you do this. Do you, though? But I promise I will make it worth your time. Best of luck, and thank you. You're welcome. The amount of times I have to help this dude is just ridiculous. What do I have to do actually? Clear out near... Where is it? Ah, over there. Actually, I'm gonna teleport because I'm being lazy. I'm gonna take a bite of my brownie. 
Also, Boohoo, if you're still here, the Shokotovs has been really helping me get through these difficult times. If you know what I mean. This one. <laughs> when I saw the bag, I had to get them. I know, I've been hyping them up so much. I've been talking about them so much and how great they are. The dark one is better, right? It's just nothing beats the OG Shokotov. Though I have been enjoying the milk chocolate one as well. It's just that the original is just... Hmm. For those who are confused, let me go grab them real quick. So, for those who are confused <clears throat> um, and don't know yet because you're new or like you just don't know, I haven't talked about it so much, but I am from Belgium. And Belgium has a chocolate brand called Cote d'Or, which so far I've only found in Belgium. It's I, I think it's really great. Belgian chocolate is good anyway. Uh, Cote d'Or is like... You buy it in the supermarket, but it's still very great chocolate. Um, and Katadar is a bunch of different um, chocolate things. And one of them is called Chocotof. And it's some top, type of like toffee bonbon like, like thing. Uh, it's like covered in dark chocolate. And then it's like this sort of fudgy, like sticky... I think it's toffee i'm not sure but like it's just great it, is, it has a very like a very specific type of flavor and you have like these knockoffs but they're just not the same the i they can't they they can't copy it it is basically what i mean and you can only find them in in Belgium or like I think maybe Luxembourg as well, but I haven't found and maybe also Holland, but I'm not sure. Um and like they look like this. Bufu sent me like Bufu sent me this. It's for Dana. As you can see, I ate some already. But this was full. Uh and they look like this. And apparently they have like this is the original one this is what it looks like but apparently they have the one with milk chocolate too and it's like with red anyway if you are in belgium and you see this you have to eat it you have to try it we have something similar in germany but does it get is it the same though i think there is something similar but like i feel like it it won't 
yeah, I've I've tried them. Like I've tried similar ones, but it's not the same. It's not the same. You have the, like these knockoffs in like Aldi and stuff in with us in Belgium too, but they can't get it right. <laughs> they can't get it right. Anyway, stop talking about candy. I don't eat the, many of them, actually. Like, I eat one or two, and that's it. Because I am trying to be healthy, and you don't need more. It's really good. It's it's just really tasty on the shop. I love a lot of food. Food is just great. But I had been talking about chocolates quite often, and then like I got a, a surprise box. Hello! How's it coming along? All clear? All clear. Great! Thanks a lot! Here's your payment! These days, honestly, if I hadn't done martial arts since I was a kid, I wouldn't dream about working in the hospitality sector. Uh, okay. We did that commission, that's good. Let's do that one. Because that's the next one that's select, like selected. Also, I don't think I've asked any of you how you guys are doing. We just dove into the stream. The special program. Honestly, I hope by the next time there is one, I'm caught up. We'll see. Also, yeah, I didn't finish... I didn't finish uh, editing because I, I had... I had some work to do and I still have work to do, so there also won't be a video tomorrow. Uh, but I'm gonna maybe try to, like, not upload a bit and then, like, maybe have, like, um... So that I'm somewhat have a backlog. And I should try to make some reels and clips as well. Oh, they saw me. They saw me, guys. No, my sword. Let me weave you a verse. You're all being really mean. That was I that was me. Let the show begin. I don't appreciate you being mean. She cries when she gets hit. <sighs> nice, we got it. That's good. Finally weekend. True, finally weekend. I still have work to do tomorrow. Um, I have accounting to do. And then I'm gonna try to do some cleaning since normally I do this on Sunday, but I'll be streaming on Sunday. And, um, yeah, editing as well. But that's okay, I don't mind. 
I went on vacation to Croatia and I walked so much today, but it's nice. Oh, that sounds really nice. I heard Croatia is really beautiful. I hope you had a really great time. Wait, where are you from, Hira? You don't have to tell me if you don't like, you know, mentioning it. Um, the country is fine enough. But even then, I know that sometimes people don't like talking about it. I don't mind mentioning that I like that I live in Germany because Germany is quite big. Um, and like, I, uh, I come from Belgium. That land, the land of beer and chocolate from Hungary. Ah, so you didn't go far. No, but still, I mean, there's, I mean, like my aunt goes on a holiday to just to Holland and it's great. Don't have to go far to have a really great, you can even have like, um, vacations in your own country and it's it you can have a really great time okay we have to go there there's something with my neck but i think hungary is also very pretty i might be wrong though but Complete the challenge by protecting the ley line monolith. Okay. <gasps> Are you kidding me? There was a geo thing right up there and I just flew straight past it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm so upset with myself. That's so stupid. I'm just gonna teleport back. Where did I come from? Here. I don't care. <laughs> I saw it. Need to have it now. Is this where I come? Yeah, I did that. No. I came from the other side. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just gonna... And now just let's let's hope we find it. There it is. Okay. It's like Okay. And drop. No. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Well, it's old, so a lot of part looks historical, even if it doesn't have much background to it. Croatia looks similar too. I know, but I think that's really nice. Like, for example, in Belgium, you have like, like, for me, I remember, but maybe I'm romanticizing it. Um, like, when I was younger, I used to go to uh, Bruges a lot. Um, and it's also like it's old so buildings so and all heavy. these things. And it's just, it just looks really pretty. I like it. They make such funny sounds, like they're... done this three bird quest near here if you get to the top there's a way to make Lee do a dive kick um I think I did I didn't do a quest but is it like the one where you have to turn 
the birds towards like one point at the mountain because if that's the case then i did that without me knowing that it was a quest yeah then i did then i did that wait did i do all the did i do all my commissions already Strange. It's a floating island you unlock. Yeah, I did that. We did that. Like, um, here, right? We didn't go to the floating island? I thought we did. Like, we had to jump on those, like, green stones, right? Like, we even read, like, like a, a sort of, like, little diary type thing that was there. Floating island, if you do a plunge attack in the right spot, instead of turning to a ball of fire, Klee does a dive kick. Ah, we can try that. I'm here now. Showcase video. Let me quickly check it. There's an ad playing. There's an ad. I don't even know about what. What is this ad about? Oh, it's a Nintendo ad. Funny. Ah, I see. So I need to like jump between is weird but you need to Explosion jump inside city wall grounded like i need wall. to explosions can hurt people um. gene can be dreadful monta be bombed clee be doomed like they jumped Those in between the these that the knights of favonius gave me i don't know if i can do it though Here. Like they jump in between, right? Yeah. Damn, <laughs> she was just like, nope. <laughs> She's like, nope. Nope. Fuck that up. But yeah. <laughs> I'm not yet that good with things like that. I seem to like fail these things very easily. I thought I had one more commission. I'm so confused. But let's uh how much more until I rank <gasps> I almost rank up. What a good day. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Thank you for completing today's com. Oh, what do you think? Great, huh? Oh, but uh, if you find it near any fires, it's not mine. Definitely not mine. <laughs> not, not yours. I get it. Astra Abyssosk. I'll check it out for sure. Ooh, I can have my... Add okay. Astra Abyss this Dispatch some characters. Let's send... 
Lisa. And let's send Dory and Razor. There we go. Let me quickly see how Klee does it. Oh, that's cute. Klee's adorable. Klee is my whole heart. I love Klee so much. Okay, hey, I ranked up. I was not expecting that. Um, yes, the Archon quest is unlocked, and I'm actually thinking it is nine. Should we do it? Should we just do it? Should we just like be <laughs> go crazy and just do it? <laughs> it is unlocked. I did not think it was gonna unlock. Also, we can hang out with Bennett. It's not even nine yet. I know, but these take a long time. Free, please, and I need to eat. I had like a protein shake before the stream. It's okay. I can eat after 12. Let me finish this brownie real quick. Mm. We have two peas. But I don't know, is it unlocked already? I don't think so. Can you do Klee's? I don't think Klee's in here. And I'm not... I'm not ranked 32 yet. Otherwise, I would have done it immediately. Finish Genshin before Christmas. Do you think that's doable, Free, please? You think I can catch up? I'm not so sure. I'm visiting my family for two weeks, like, you know, in August, so this month. And then I don't, I will only hopefully um, visit them for Christmas. So then, yeah. Right? There is a lot. I feel like it's not doable. Especially since I only, I only play on stream. Apart from commissions. But we can hang out, like, we can, um... We can actually hang out with someone. But, you know what? Let's just do the Archon quest. The crisis looming over Leeway Harbor has calmed, and it's business as usual in the city. However, Madame Ping, the flower admirer from Eugene Terrace, seems to have something more to discuss with you. Complete this quest to unlock the Serenity Pop. Oh, that's for the house stuff. That's cool. It's still a bit away, I think, but that's okay. They are important. Yeah. Okay. 
let's just let's just do the Archon quest now that we're here anyway. Might as well. Let me change my title again. I thought it was gonna take ages. Damn. A Genshin update stream and an Archon quest in one stream? What a day. What a day. <clears throat> you just need to finish the Archon quest you just started. That's a requirement. Yeah. I don't know how much longer it is actually. Um... But, let's do it. So exciting, actually. I didn't know- I wasn't prepared! <laughs> um, I guess I'll teleport here and like sort of fly there. And fly and climb. This is pretty exciting, actually. La, la, la. Okay. Uh. Hello. Let the show begin. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Did I get you? I did. La, la, la. Okay. Um we go up. <laughs> Big day today. Ah uh, oh, yeah, that's the thing I can't grab. Do I have to go in here or do I have to go up? I think it's up. I'm assuming it's up. Can you stand? Yeah. Oh, that wasn't that wasn't the best uh, the best idea. No. I actually don't know what the best uh, best idea is. There's like. I guess if we just slowly make our way up, we're gonna make it. Or is this- this is gonna block her, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. What is a better way to climb up? Here? Like here, I think. Have I even been up there yet? I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Maybe. I'm going the wrong way. I just need to spot the stand for a little bit and then I'll be fine. Man, getting to where I need to be such a such a hassle. Ah. 
let a poor kid climb <laughs> all the way up there. Let me quickly... It better be up here, okay. Look up there! That's the Jade Chamber! Question is, how do we get up there? We should have asked that emissary gotten you. <sighs> well, since we want to go to the Jade Chamber, heading to its location on the map is the sensible thing to do. I guess. Let's look around. There has to be a way up there nearby. Oh. Hey, look! There's some sort of mechanism thingy. Since this is the right place, it must have something to do with the Jade Chamber. It looks like some sort of trap. No way! Just trust Paimon's instincts. Okay. I have to switch. Best we go back to Liwei and ask the Melilith. Huh? Why? The way up shouldn't be a secret. Or... Or... Oh, Paimon gets it! If it was a secret, Ganyu wouldn't have let us try to find it ourselves, right? Mm. Alright, let's follow your plan. Then we can... Oh, hang on a moment. Look down there. Looks like we've gotten close to the Guizhong Ballista. Oh. Mm. Paimon has a new idea? Look, Paimon, I I don't like where I think this is going, honestly. Welcome back, Bufu. I I I have a hunch and I don't like it. Why don't we shoot you up to the Jade Chamber using the ballista? Yeah, no thanks. I don't have a dead wish. Or do you really hate me that do you really hate me that much? to think about the safety measures. All right. <laughs> Still, I do remember that the ballista had a scope. Oh, that's right. Now that you mention it, we could use the Guizhong ballista to see if there's another way up nearby. Good idea. Let me grab the chest first. Is this an answer from this world? It's really weird hearing the traveler's voice. You never hear it. Okay, well, uh, let's go back. Where's the ballista? Over there. I don't really see it, but can we, like... Teleport. Of course it's blocked. Yeah, it doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> halt! Mm -hmm. Who trespasses on these hallowed grounds? Hallowed what now? These are the wilds around Mount Chanheng. Exactly. What are you talking about? We're invited guests! What makes you think you 
can treat us like this. <laughs> no. Wait. Maybe this was Ningguan's plan all along. <gasps> was it a trap? She pretended to invite us to the Jade Chamber, but set up a megalith ambush here to arrest us. Well, we haven't explained the invitation to them yet. What? We're just on guard duty. What do you mean, shameless? Mm -hmm. What nonsense! Seize these suspicious intruders at once! Damn it, like... Ugh. Well, here they come! Line them up and knock them down! <laughs> knock them down! <laughs> <But what? laughs> See how she immediately disappears? <gasps> Let me leave you a... She's like, you fix it. <laughs> I wish Paimon would fight too, honestly. <laughs> Did I get you, or are you still alive? You're still alive. Oh, that's too far. I hate when this happens. Volume 2 of this awfully placed fight, right? Now I have to figure it out. Okay. Again? I'm not- I'm not going down there. I refuse. I refuse to jump down there. Jumpy Dumpty will do it. Pew! Apparently not. Uh. Ah. Apparently not. He was hiding. He's gone? Don't tell me I jumped I jumped down there. Oh there's a chest. Oh there's another chest. <laughs> I jumped down there for like literally no reason. I know but nothing happened anymore. Damn it. Let's teleport and fly down there again. He respawned up a- <gasps> Really? That's so dumb. I should have waited. I was getting impatient. That's what happens when you're impatient. Patience is good for you. No, no. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait it out. Wait it out. Come here. Boing, boing, boing. Come here. If you fall down one more time. More? Really? No! Rain, 
Find your fate. Witness the power of Kuwa. Like keep them here. Dude. Take the target alive. <laughs> oh, thank God. this about I have no clue wait you're new I don't know you who are you lady coaching these two strange people suddenly appeared they seem to have designs on the Guizhong ballista what grown men hitting a little girl right it like I'm still baffled by this you take the target alive <laughs> You calling strange? We were just looking for the way to the Jade Chamber. Mm -hmm. You want to go to the Jade Chamber? Who are you? We're invited guests here to look for the Lyria Chising. Who are you? <laughs> She's cute. Well, as it happens, I am one of the Lyria Chising. Oh. I'm Kuching, the Yuhung of the Qixing. I know of you, Traveler. You're Ningguang's guests, yes? Didn't expect to meet you here in the mountains. I mean, I don't know how to get there. Wow. Paimon didn't think we'd meet some super rich big shot out here in the middle of nowhere either. The Guizhong Ballista in Tianhong Pass has long been in disrepair. And yet, it was fixed in a single night. I came here to investigate that occurrence. Oh, that was us. These Millilith are just here to guard the scene, not to arrest anyone. So, this was all a misunderstanding? Paimon never would have thought. Thinking isn't that hard, Paimon. Anyway, for a mortal to be able to repair an Adepti mechanism is quite the mystery, even to the Qixing. It was Zhongli, the vampire. Don't complicate the matter. Eh? Oh, right. So, Lady Yuhang, might you have any idea why Lady Tianquan invited us to go to the Jade Chamber? Just call me Kuching. Kuching. I'm gonna... <laughs> no, I'm gonna... I was gonna say I'm gonna forget, but... Kaching. Um, I'm gonna remember now. Her Q ability stare is scary. I think I remember somebody said that. Wait, we, we, um, when we did, like, the event challenge thing, I think she was one of the characters that we had to play with. And I sucked. <laughs> I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. We're not taking sides. We spoke with the Adepti. 
They want to protect Liu as well. Hmm. When you say protect, you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance, aren't you? Okay. Huh? Huh? You are mortals and thus under their protection. There was no way they would have regarded you as someone with the ability to assassinate a god. Okay. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover-up. I'll say it like it is. They're underestimating us. Okay. Well, you've got a point there. Still, this is the first time Paimon's seen a person from Liyue who doesn't respect the gods or the Adepta. That is true, they are very, uh... <laughs> Should I respect the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Chising? There we go. I was wondering why my light looked so weird. I clicked on the wrong button. Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, and Ningguang does not share it. Oh, you made it sound like you all shared that view. Either way, I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Hmm. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance. But to think that they would call for a council of adepti rather than come down here directly. How surprisingly civilized of them. Ningguang would prefer to negotiate, wouldn't she? Well, for Ningguang, she would talk anything and everything out if she could. But I doubt we can do that here. The time of the adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue at Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? <sighs> Another super bold statement! Yup. <sighs> I'll stop here. Honestly, I hadn't intended to say so much. But you're a good listener, Traveler. Yeah, she doesn't say much. You should both be off to the Jade Chamber. Don't be late now. Ningguang's schedule is packed to the gills all the way till next year. Damn, P poor girl. The cream of Liyue's mercantile crop all see ascending to the Jade Chamber is the greatest honor. Each brings rich gifts as they visit, all to curry a little favor with Ningguang. And we don't have a gift. We don't have a gift, guys. Favor? Come on, get serious. But, but... Wait! That's right! Greeting gifts are a staple of Leo's culture! We need to get one! Not to curry favor or anything, just yeah. to respect Leo's culture! Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, so eager. Alright, alright. You can decide on your greeting gift yourselves. Let me tell you how to get to oh, the Jade Chamber first. Thank God. You didn't actually have to come to Mount Tianhong. Go back to Liyue Harbor. Mm -hmm. Find a guide at the Yuahai Pavilion, and... Okay. Well then, may we meet again, Traveler. Damn, we don't even uh, hear the full story. Well, that Yuhang may not respect the gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. She made a good impression on me, too. So, what should we give to Ningguang when we see her? You really have shifted focus, haven't you, Paimon? Oh, right! Paimon dreamed of an amazing snack last night! Sugar frosted slime! Ooh. Paimon has a feeling that it would be perfect for a super rich person like Ningguang. It doesn't sound very appetizing, though. Why don't we go with that for a gift? So do you have a recipe? Nope! But Paimon's sure that we just need to make it with some boom shakalaka! Oh! Let's go gather ingredients! Time waits for no one, and neither will our riches. Oh god. That event is fun when you know how characters work, but actually whatever they want you to use these characters for are hyper-focusing on one ability they can do and doesn't reflect actual gameplay. True, that makes sense. Because a lot of them I felt like it was really clunky for me. But yeah, it wasn't really... It was... 
very much indeed focused on like this is a ch this is what you have to do and this um this ability is the best for it and since it was timed it really i couldn't really you had to figure it out fast but i couldn't figure it out like well enough So maybe it does indeed not give a, a good enough, like... Maybe it's not Ooh, the best first impression. It looks crystal clear! And very delicious! No, it That's doesn't. Jumpy Dumpty Go! Okay. Why are you here? I'm just gonna run away. Huh? Is it just Paimon? Or is there a sweet fragrance in the air? Huh? Did you hear that? Sounded like someone was singing. Uh, no! That was definitely someone in trouble. It came from those ruins over there. I didn't know. I couldn't see. Uh-oh. It looks like the treasure hoarders have locked someone inside. Damned treasure hoarders. La la la. Body and mind. Let me weave you a verse. <laughs> <laughs> The show be <laughs> Rain outlines your fate. Hello. <sighs> Thank you for your help, kind travelers. If you hadn't come to my aid, I surely would have rotted in this cell. Those treasure hoarders. Mm. When their mood was good, they'd rearrange those pots of sweet flowers. When they were in a bad mood, they'd rearrange my face. Aww. Aww it was nothing. No need to thank us all at once or anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I understand. Don't worry. I will compensate you both. No, there's really no need. Don't say that. I only escaped this predicament because of you. I'm Meng Dan, a supplier for Mingxing Jewelry in Liyue Harbor. I often walk around these mountains in search of antiques. Nice to meet you. I never expected that those treasure hoarders would have their eyes on the same ruins that I had. Before I knew it, they'd caught and imprisoned me. Is there anything that you lack? Uh, antiques, treasure, various knickknacks, you name it. Well, as long as you want what I have to offer, of course. Your goodwill is good enough for me. Wait a moment. Actually, we are looking for something. Oh? And what might that be? Do you have a box that can store presents? Mm. We'd like a pretty one. The kind that you can use to store snacks. Of course we do. Mm. How can one sell antiques without gift boxes? At Mingxing Jewelry, we have the best gift wrapping service in the Seven Nations. Damn. That's just what we need, actually. Now, just give me a moment, and I'll let the boss know. You can go see her whenever you require that box. Nice. Great. Hyman Sugar Frosted Slime now comes in a beautiful package. I guess some gift wrapping isn't too bad. 
Okay, wait, there's... There's a thing. No, they're like more over there. There's like right somewhere up there, I'm assuming. Or is it like underwater? Oh, it's underwater. Yeah, I can't get there. And the one over there, eh, it's a hassle. Let's go back to Leeway Harbor and get that gift package. I love Plea. I feel like I have to say that at least once per stream. <laughs> Hello. Hey there! A guy called Mung Dan told us that we could get a nice and shiny box from your store. Uncle Mung already told me about it. Hmm. Thank you both for saving him. You're welcome. Many of the best goods in our store were found by Uncle Mung. If anything were to happen to him, it would be impossible for us to continue doing business. Mm. Here, this container is itself an antique, with at least 140 years of history. Ooh. It's already been cleaned. Will it do? Yep, yep, yep! It's great! Hang on a moment. Can we borrow one other thing? Sure. Please help yourselves. As long as it's on our shelves. Traveler! This clay pot looks really awesome. If we use an antique as our mixing bowl, we should be able to make a great snack. No. It's done! The one and only sugar frosted slime! Carefully now, into the box it goes and dust it over with a bit more powdered sugar. Okay. Oh, yes. You might want to use these two freshly picked flowers as decorations, too. Oh, thank you. Woohoo! It looks it it does look beautiful, but I'm still not sold on this gift idea. Great! Now that we've put all that we've got into this box, let's go to the Jade Chamber to see Mingguang. Sure, okay. Fine. Where do where is where? Ooh, all the way up there. Sure. Wait, did I get my my rewards? Yeah, I did. For my new rank. Make our way up. Is it here or is it? no? It's further. It's over. It's more deeper in there. to go in oh no it's over there oh there's a thingy according to coaching this is what we should say okay excuse me do you sell the moon here yes <laughs> how many would you like it's not convenient to speak of numbers here ah well said Please, use this to ascend to the chamber. Ah, uh, yes, speaking of which, are you two the guests that Lady Ningguang has arranged to meet with today? That is us. Yep. And yet the code they used was not the one for guests, but for the Yuang. What's going on here? I... <gasps> Ooh. 
I've been waiting for you, returnee from Joyen Karst. <gasps> it's Ningguang! Since this is our first meeting, um, we've prepared a gift. I hope you like it. It was Paimon's idea. Oh, for me. You have my thanks. It seems that I have made things difficult for you, considering that you were supposed to be my guests. <laughs> oh no, it's nothing. It's my first time coming to a place this high up. This palace floats in the skies, higher than the peak of any mountain. From this vantage point, one may survey all of Liyue. Yeah. I have been gathering the funds necessary to build it from the time I began learning the merchant's craft. Mm -hmm. And since becoming the Tianchuan, I have spared no effort in hiring the best craftsmen to constantly extend it. It looks really awesome. At first, it was but the size of one room. Wow. Now, it is large enough to blot out the moon in the skies above Liyue. One day, I believe it will overshadow all seven nations. This Ting Quan does not lack for ambition. Not many from outside Liyue earn the right to ascend to the Jade Chamber. But I have been in correspondence with the acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, oh. who spoke highly of you. As such, I have been putting eyes and ears out ever since you reached Liyue. Okay. What? And I finally got wind of your movements when you were on the way to Wang Shu Inn. Damn, then already? Was Ver Goldet one of your people? <laughs> Just Ver Goldet? No. Everyone at Wangshu Inn is one of ours. Damn, I feel so spied on. <laughs> we also ran into the Yu Hang not long ago. Hmm. At the Guizhang Ballista, yes? Matt, you literally know everything. Kind of looks like it. <laughs> I fear that peeking would have been a little difficult from this altitude. It's true, but... Our eyes and ears are more than sufficient. You two are very interesting people, after all. It would be natural to take an interest. Keqing said that the... Qixing would not will wish ill on Rex Lapis. Well, I wouldn't expect you to trust us, considering that you have had far more interactions with the Adepti. Mm-hmm. The reason I invited you here was to clear up some misunderstandings. I'm all ears. Okay. Hi, Lord Artaban. How are you doing? It's good to see you. I just wanted to make sure that, like, the dialogue was, uh, was done before greeting you. Let me adjust a little bit. Constant posture check. Okay. I believe that you've heard of the Archon War. Only in the broadest of strokes. Many gods used to walk this earth, and many long wars were fought between them that did not abate until 2,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. Much blood was shed, and many lives were lost. In the end, only seven victors remained standing in Tibet. They built cities and nations on the corpses of the vanquished, and thus began the era of the Seven. Okay. You can see Goyun Stone Forest from here, I trust. It is no natural rock formation. Those are giant spears of rock hurled by Rex Lapis during the war. Damn. Beneath the spears lie those cast down by Rex Lapis in those days, gods that failed to seize the title of Archon. Not only is it true that gods may die, but so too has the membership of the Seven changed over the last two millennia. Rex Lapis's passing is an unimaginable disaster for Liyue. But the Order of the Seven will not collapse simply because of that. It won't? Another Lord of Geo will arise sooner oh. or later. Yet, how are we to forget Rex Lapis? When that time comes, the relationship between the people of Liyue and the gods and Adepti will surely be different from before. Even in a new era, the Liyue Qixing remain Rex Lapis's former subjects. Do you really think us capable of having played a part in his demise? Of lacking the foresight to see the certain repercussions? Why hide the Exuvia then? 
That day at Yujing Terrace, it was also very sudden. Even I was caught completely off guard. You were there, you no doubt saw. We did. But our enemy has long lain hidden within the harbor. If we do not act against them now, they will surely gain the upper hand. Hiding the Exuvia was a necessary maneuver to take the initiative back, mm -hmm. to play the spider while our foes scurry about. Who's this enemy you're talking about? Is it the Fatui? <laughs> what do you think, Traveler? It's him, isn't it? Is him child? Like, I don't, like, I don't know, like that, like, am I wrong? Is that dumb? That's what comes to mind, like, ah, <laughs> oh, that's good to hear, Lord Archibald, I'm glad you're doing fine. Yeah, okay, 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 good. I was like, it is child, right? We're talking about the Fatui. <laughs> or am I like, have I missed something? Like, really, okay, it's him, isn't it? Huh? What are you two talking about? It's grown-up stuff, Paimon. Well answered. Uh, huh? <laughs> <sighs> the scenery out here is fine indeed. But the wind is a little strong. Our preparations to receive guests within are complete. So please, this way. Sure. Ooh, man, this this is so pretty and so cool. Let's enter the jade chamber. No, me neither. Damn. Wow. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Music is once again great. Damn, look at that. It is so... She's so good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, the, the music changed, so I stopped. I don't want to talk. I'm listening. Be at ease, you two. Make yourselves at home if you wish. Yeah, I was just going to say, you you don't have to tell Paimon twice. I have invited you two here as friends. And when friends come over to play, our enjoyment comes first. Naturally. Is that what I think it is? Legendary wall? That legendary wall. Why, you've kept your ear to the ground, I see. That's because even the storytellers are talking about it. Everyone's after a piece of paper from that wall. It's super famous. It's true. We heard the, the story song thingy. That's because that wall records Leo's secrets. Merchants have always been attracted to secrets. Yeah. But the secrets of the mercantile world are of no interest to you, are they, Traveler? You're rather special, really, and I think you're quite aware of that. Why are you saying it like that? If possible, I'd like to have your trust. Okay. But if you were to choose the more trustworthy person between myself and Kuching... Well, between her, your orthodoxy and her hetero, heterodoxy, I'd go with 
Heqing and their skepticism of the divine. Well, between your orthodoxy and her heterodoxy. <laughs> You'd pick Kuching? Nah, I had a feeling. I originally thought her a bit too hard-headed. With someone of her character on the Qixing, I've had some extra messes to clean up behind the scenes. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. But after she said those words... The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Well, I must say that quite a few of my doubts have been dispelled. Mm. I won't deny that Rex Lapis's passing seems advantageous to us. But for Liyue's sake, we cannot allow ourselves to be shackled by rumors of our usurpation of power. I surmise that the Fatui has a hand in these rumors. Indeed. It seems that you understood what I meant to say from the very beginning. I called for the gag order and for the exuvia to be hidden to temporarily stabilize the situation, and also to prevent something similar to the incident in Mondstadt. Makes sense. With Rex Lapis's death, the Fatui have busied themselves with many clandestine actions beyond their diplomatic remit. As the Tianchuan, one responsible for Liyue, I cannot be too concerned with appearances when opposing them. It makes sense. They are... very scary. Allowing the rite of parting to take place was also meant to buy some time for us to take control of Liyue's administration. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's exactly as Zhongli said. The Qixing only provided the venue for the rite so they could use us for their own ends. Wait, that's right. Speaking of ends, could I say one other thing? Of course. Sure. Vimon's heard that anyone who sends a greeting gift gets a little something in return. So, does that include us? <sighs> I should have left you down in Leeway Harbor, Paimon. <laughs> it's all right. I like direct people. Well, we have made quite a bit of trouble for you recently. How about this? You can pick any one object here as you please. And you may take it with you. Yay! Paimon was just waiting for you to say that! Let's see, what should we get? She's so good, what? <gasps> one of the sheets on that wall! Uh? <laughs> Don't look at Paimon like that! One of these sheets of paper will sell for crazy prices, even if it's only as large as Paimon's fingernail. Are you kidding me? Just imagine how much more a whole untorn sheet would sell for. I we're not associated with each other. She's just following me around. I don't know this person. Let's grab one. The biggest. No. One. No, I don't want. <sighs> I love everything about Ningguang and the Jade Chamber isn't an exception. It makes sense. Like, this Jade Chamber is... It's awesome. The music is also very good. Is she just letting us grab a piece of paper? I don't... I don't want it. Huh? Well, that was an easy search. The biggest sheet is right up there. In the most obvious spot. Let's go with that one. No, Paimon. La 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 la. Let's see what's written on it. No. Huh? There's a place marked with a circle on here. <gasps> oh, could it be treasure? Whatever it is, it better make us filthy rich. Let's see what's written over here. Sigil of permission, something, something, fatui, research, copy. Huh? Aw, oh, that doesn't sound like treasure at all. What did you think? <gasps> this piece of paper shows that a cheesing spy discovered traces of classified Fatui research on the sigil of permission. Oh. Oh, Ningguang did say that the Fatui have been up to all kinds of mischief in the shadows of Liyue. Spreading rumors, wanting to get their hands on the Archon's body and whatnot. But research on the sigil of permission? Paimon wonders what they're up to. Yeah, me too, and I don't like where this is going. Speaking of which, there's also some connection between you and the sigil of permission. Seems there's still more for us to find out. 
Ning Guang is clearly trying to steer us there, or it's all unfolding a little too perfectly. It is all unfolding a little too perfectly. Oh, you really think so? Kind of. Well, should we not go then? No, what I mean is... Oh, so you're saying that it's precisely because we can't completely trust Ning Guang that we should confirm the truth of what she says for ourselves. Hmm. That's way out of Paimon's league. Paimon thinks she's been nothing but good to us. Yeah, because... Oh, uh, Paimon. Mm, anyway, we'll see if you're onto something. Um, before we look for Zhongli at Dihua Marsh, let's go to the place marked out on these papers and sure. see if the Fatui really are up to no good there. They're always up to no good. But let's go. Head to the location marked on the paper snow. Let me just enjoy the view a little bit. This is nuts. Ooh. Very nice though. Look at the view. Okay. Uh, damn, that's quite far. Good thing we can teleport! Oh, it's the other... They are indeed up to no good. They really were Fatui at the location written down on this piece of paper. And uh, they look really mad at us too. Gee, I wonder why. No, my sword. Grand cutter. Did I get him? No.
must collect myself. Let's not waste time. Let the show be. I don't know if I can do this. your fence. I don't like this. Higher? Okay. I have to climb up. Or like use the stairs. Okay. Research. Here and some stacks of blank paper, too. Hmm, what are they for? Looks like they're copying the pattern on the talisman. I haven't seen this pattern before, but where the one we have? Oh, Pinar knows it looks just like the sigil of permission the child gave you. Yep, hmm, but how did a relic of the adept? I end up in the hands of someone like Child. And it's not just a relic. Oh, that's right. Cloud Retainer said that when the Lord of Geo created the Sigil of Permission, it wasn't to be used as some old relic. Talismans like that were once used in the Archon War to channel divine powers. Yep. Maybe the Fatui are copying the Sigil of Permission in hopes of achieving a similar effect. Probably. Being able to channel divine power in battle? Whew, that sounds pretty dangerous. Seems the Fatui are definitely up to something. And the plot thickens. We'll need to keep an eye on Child, that's for sure. Hmm. All right, that's enough sticking around here. We gotta go meet up with Zhang Li soon. Yay! <laughs> Yay, I love hanging out with Zhang Li. <laughs> No, I don't, actually. I don't. I don't. He never has his wallet. 
He's Kai against the hammer guy. Cryo beats Electro. Okay, good. Yeah, Cryo is good for Electro Shield. Please charge for G. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. After getting characters to 90 with great artifacts and talents, things will be easy. True. The last stop on our Rite of Parting preparations tour is Dihua Marsh. Let's go! Paimon hates being late. Okay, let's go. Let's meet up with the vampire. Oh. There he is. Hello. Right on time. I myself only arrived moments ago. Did you enjoy your visit to the Jade Chamber? I did. It was so big and pretty and expensive. Paimon's never seen such a fancy schmancy place before. Indeed. It's second to none in all of Liyue. Then you met with Ningguang, I trust? What did you talk about with her? She's super rich and so generous. <sighs> Paimon thinks she's very friendly. Business people are always friendly when it suits their interests. Yeah, her take on Ningguang is quite different from Paimon's. She thinks that even the tactless Yuhang is more trustworthy than her. Oh. So you also met with Kuching then? What did she have to say? She said the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Chising don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Honestly, I feel like Paimon needs to learn when to not talk and when to talk. <laughs> no respect for the Divine. Indeed, contrary to the Everbold Kuching, Ningguang is more of a businesswoman at heart. Though they are both members of the Qixing. Mm. Although she's friendly, there's no way of clearly discerning her true intentions. Ningguang is highly intelligent. Yes. She has only relied on herself to rise to her current position. No ordinary person could ever achieve that. It's said that she's the one behind the constant expansion of the Jade Chamber. It's the second most important thing to her. Even if she ever gave up the position of Tianxuan, she would never give up the Jade Chamber. I wouldn't either. The Jade Chamber is only second? What's the most important thing to her then? Why, Mora, of course. Oh, lol. <laughs> Makes sense. All Ningguang talked about was the Fatui this and the Fatui that. She said that after Rex Lapis was murdered, the Fatui have constantly been trying to sink their fingers into Liyue and that they aren't to be trusted. She's right, though. That is how the Fatui have always been. It doesn't surprise me in the least. And now they're trying to reproduce the sigil of permission. Hmm. No matter what they may be planning, you must be careful when dealing with the Fatui. Always be on your guard. Yep. So, is there anything we need to get for the Rite of Parting in Diwa Marsh? Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Today, we'll be gathering wild glaze lilies. Mm -hmm. Glaze lilies? But why did we come all the way out here? Doesn't the garden in Yujing Terrace have some? Even Qingsa Village has glaze lilies. Oh, right! Paimon remembers that Madam Ping is always tending to flowers. Maybe we could ask her. No. Those lilies have all been gardened by people. They won't do at all. Oh. Dihua Marsh used to be full of glaze lilies. It is a sort of joyful flower that listens to human song. Before the Archon War, Dihua Marsh was all dry land and fertile soil. But the war caused landslides, and the land was flooded. 
turning it into the marsh you see now. Nearly all the glazed lilies were wiped out. That's sad. Of course, there are some kinds of flowers that have been preserved and gardened by people in the city. But very few people know that glazed lilies may still be found in the wild. But you do, though. You know everything. Wild glazed lilies have the strongest fragrance. If we want to follow the true tradition of the rite of parting, we must grind up the wild lilies and place the powder in a censer of everlasting incense. Okay. But I'll need your assistance in gathering these flowers. So you need me to sing? <laughs> That's correct. Your singing will surely bring out the strongest fragrance from the flowers. Damn, that was smooth. You're singing. I could hold it. It's really bad. Uh, thank God I don't have to sing myself. I could hold a tune. Really? Why doesn't Paimon believe you? We'll only know once she starts singing. Fine. I won't sing. You can sing yourself. It's time to sing whenever you're ready. No, 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 we're not doing that. I'm not singing. What happened? These flowers are jumping. They look really angry. Is it because you sang a song for Mon's dad that they don't understand here in Leon? Maybe. Let the show begin. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> Damn it. your fate. Body and mind, let me weave you a verse. I got them all. Those weren't glaze lilies. Glaze lilies wouldn't hit people. Those flowers put up quite a fight. This little monster is known as a whopper flower. Hmm. Strange. These petals look interesting. Define interesting? The glaze lilies used as a disguise were buried with the whopper flower for too long. The result Ooh. seems to have surprisingly potent medicinal value. Let's collect what we can of these petals. Sure. Well, that's nice and all, but will those petals be useful for the rite of parting? No, but maybe for boo-boo pharmacy, I guess. Unfortunately, no. Oh, that's so lame. So lame. Excuse me. Hello. 
Are you searching for glaze lilies? We are. Oh, hey, it's... What's her face? Greetings. I, I can't remember. Greetings, Ganyu. Hello, traveler. I'm surprised you still remember my name. Yeah, you're... They should have put a question mark. I only... I read your name. It, it, the subtitle said it. I'm sorry. Uh, that reminds me. How was your visit to the Jade Chamber? Well, it sure would have been better if you told us how to get up there. <laughs> didn't I tell you the way? Surely I did. No, you didn't. Nope. We found the way on our own. Guess it was our fault for not asking. Oh, I see. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I guess I really did forget to tell them. Huh. Something seems a little off about Ganyu. She's acting different from the first time we met. Where's her serious attitude now? Ah, oh, well, I met you at that time as an emissary of the Tianquan. Mm. But now, I am simply out on a stroll to see the flowers. You came all the way out here to see the flowers? Why not just enjoy the gardens of the city? Paimon, that's not the same. <sighs> oh. Yujing Terrace is where Rex Lapis parted from this world. If I strolled through those lonely gardens now, I wouldn't be able to bear it. Whenever my duties take me near Yujing Terrace these days, I draw the windows to block my view of the gardens. Aww. Oh, sorry. We shouldn't have brought it up. No, it's quite all right. I just haven't processed my emotions yet. Poor Ganyu. When the Archon War came to its end 2,000 years ago, the first iteration of the Seven would gather in Liyue and drink with Rex Lapis. But five of those original Seven had already passed before Rex Lapis. It's truly a changing of the guard. So that means... Yes. Now that the spirit of Rex Lapis has returned to the heavens, only Barbados of Mondstadt remains of the first Seven. Wow. The other five, including Inazuma's Raiden Shogun, are no longer the same friends from 2,000 years ago. Of the current seven Archons, the youngest is Sumeru's god of Dendro. She is merely 500 years old, Oof. whereas Rex Lapis was more than 6,000 years old at the time of his passing. Damn, that is a big difference. This means that Liyue had been under Rex Lapis's rule from the moment it was first founded 3,700 years ago. The city has never had to bid farewell to its deity. So what do you think of this farewell? Huh? This... This is a little sudden. I... <sighs> hmm. As a mortal, I've never dared to imagine a Liyue without Rex Lapis. But as an Adeptus, I think I will eventually come to grips with reality. Since Rex Lapis has passed, the time of Liyue's contract with the gods and Adepti has now reached its end. Hmm. Huh? Did you just say, as an Adeptus? Yeah, I heard that too. Yes, I... I am a mix of human and Chilean. Ooh. Adeptus blood flows through my veins. I fought for Rex Lapis and the city of Liyue during the Archon War. Damn! She's really old then! After the war ended, I signed a contract with Rex Lapis and took the position as secretary for the Chising. I've continued those duties to this very day. I was gonna go with this, but that explains the forgetfulness is like really... The horns is also kinda... Let's just go with the forgetfulness. Let's not point out the horns. So you're how old? That explains the forgetfulness. Well, uh, let's save that conversation for another day. <laughs> you say that you are here looking for glaze lilies? Yes. I also know where wild glaze lilies can be oh. found. See, I've just picked one myself. Oh. Here, you may have it if you wish. Oh, that's so kind of you. <laughs> we dare not refuse it. Oh, so did you sing a song before you picked the lily? Indeed, I did. I know this tradition well. In fact, I sang a local Liyue ballad to it. Are you going to sing it now? Wow, so you really know your stuff, too. Thanks, Ganyu. Thanks, Ganyu. No, it is you who I should be thanking. If not for this chance meeting, I never thought that I would be able to contribute to the upcoming farewell for our ancient lord. Aww. If you would excuse me, I should return to my work now. 
Good luck. Thank you. Bye, Ganyu. And that just about does it. Our preparations for the rite of parting are mostly finished. She's self-conscious about her horns too, so the age one probably was a better option. Okay, yeah, I thought maybe like pointing out the horns wasn't a good idea. Better to for forgetfulness, considering that was already pointed out. Given the ease of picking glaze lilies, I think this was a fitting end to our tasks, in more ways than one. Zhongli, you seem suited to working in agricultural development. Yeah, Paimon can already imagine him starting a business in Liyue. <laughs> I've had enough ventures in my life already. See, he's already dropping the hints of him being ancient, like... Beginning a new undertaking is always difficult at first, and requires no small amount of effort. And once business is at full steam, the stress of it all only wears away at you over time. So you must be careful to take the time to step back and re-examine yourself. If left unchecked, the wear and tear on your heart may go well past mending. Damn, that's deep. Wow. See? Jolly sounds like he's already seen it all. Right? All right. I think it's about time we head back to Leo at Harbor now. Okay, let's head back. It wouldn't have changed the conversation? Probably, but yeah, still, in in your heart, you, uh, you picked the right decision. I don't like this. I this don't like... This atmosphere is highly abnormal. It seems as though something big has happened. <sighs> My heart isn't ready. We should ask around a little. Just to be safe. Yeah. Ah, you're the consultant to Wongsheng Funeral Parlor. Mr. Zhongli, I presume. Mm -hmm. The Millilith are watching our every move now. These are desperate times. We mustn't act rashly. Hmm. Desperate times? The Adepti of Joyun Karst are finally on the move. Okay. Do they intend to exercise force? Most likely. I've heard that some members of the Qixing have already gone to meet them. Well, I say meet, but it's more like they're attempting to stall the Adepti outside the city. However, both sides were quite obstinate and hit an impasse. Time to get ready. Don't say that, Spring Fan. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like what you mean. I don't like when you say it like that. It seems inevitable, given the current situation. The Adepti do not acknowledge the Qixing. They only acknowledge the contracts of the Geo Archon. If the two sides come to blows, Liyue Harbor will be in no position to stop them. Surely the Liyue Qixing are not the sort to give in so easily. Huh. Their boneheadedness is known throughout the lands. Yet, it's because of that obstinacy <clears throat> that mortals and adepti are now on the verge of conflict. This is gonna be good. Guys, no! Don't talk like that! What do you mean, this is gonna be good? <laughs> like, what are you saying? And what now? How is it that the Fatui have come under fire? Ah, <sighs> that's all Ningguang's doing. She proclaimed that in these tumultuous times, the Millilith must rein in the actions of the Fatui. She's right. Only now do they want to start keeping tabs on us? <laughs> That's the cheesing for you. Anyway, Mr. Zhongli, you're one of Child's close associates. Please understand that your actions will reflect on us. Don't let anyone catch you off guard. She doesn't... What are you... What is this something I'm supposed to know already? <laughs> like... Stop talking like no, you're all you're all being like this. I don't like it. Also, Felix, stop talking like Zhong Li's child's best friend. We don't like the Fatui. <laughs> it looks like things are about to boil over in Liyue Harbor. We can't just stand by and watch. Do you intend to use your neutral identity as an intermediary between both sides, or will you use your sword to turn the balance? I'd prefer to be a neutral, like, inter... 
intermediary. Neither path is an easy one. No, I know. Oh, by the way, Mr. Zhongli, we've heard that the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has also been caught up in all of this. They're currently squaring off with the authorities at the gates. What the fuck is going on? Things are taking a turn for the worse. I'm afraid I must leave now to handle things back at Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. I hope that Master Hu has been able to keep things under control for the moment. Consider your next course of action carefully, Traveler. If you're trying to prevent an explosion, it may be wisest to look for the fuse first. No stay! <sighs> Having connections with the Fatui seems to be quite the double-edged sword. Uh-huh. So what does Zhongli mean by looking for the fuse? That ginger guy. <laughs> Let's just go with his name, child. Oh, Paimon gets it. If there's anyone that wants to see the whole city turned upside down, it's definitely him. Yep. He must be waiting for the moment when no one is watching to do something really bad. But where could we find him now? Where would he go at a time like this? There's only one place he would go. I don't know. Oh, the bank. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh no, that's not the bank. Guys, why are you like this? I don't like it. That is the mint thing. Yeah. Well, I was sort of right with the bank thing then. Then I just... It was just wrong. I'm a bit forgetful, okay? I'll get better at it. The lore will stick at one point. It was sort of... It was just wrong. <laughs> by chat Look, should I like I don't know like should I level her up a little bit this is gonna be great I don't like this level her to max I don't I don't like this even more. These bombs so heavy. If you want to go for it. What does that mean? Dodoko? Dodoko, where are you? It's not gonna happen and I can't descend him because I don't have everything. <laughs> I can descend. Also, I don't think I can level no, I'm also missing this. And it's not Thursday. You're making me scared. Why <laughs> don't do this to me? You're making me freak out. Like. <laughs> I can't, I don't have everything.
Very pretty. Can't even enjoy it because I'm fully stressed out. Surprised my watch isn't saying to relax. Just not I'm not gonna look at chat anymore. I don't no, that's the wrong but that's the wrong button. They're all forty. There's a chest on the roof. Look, I'm not gonna climb up on the roof. I'm too stressed. I won't be able to get up there anyway. La la la. Your pursuit of the truth brings you to the very heart of the political storm that has been slowly brewing in Liwei Harbor. It is time to peer beyond the glittering gold and see what lurks in the shadow. Wow! This is the golden house? It looked impressive enough from the outside, but who would have guessed that it was even fancier on the inside? And so full of Mora. Shh, shush, bye, Mom. This is where all of Tibet's Mora is minted, right? In that case, maybe they won't notice if a few Mora go missing. Touch a single Mora and we're done for. Oh, so it's a trap. Tricky, tricky. Good thing Paimon's guide you here. Oh. But even if we can't take any, we can still have a closer look, right? No, go back outside, Paimon. Or better yet, Take a nap on top of a mountain of Mora. It's like a dream come true. Something feels amiss here. Oh, right. Back to business. It's quiet. Too quiet. Surely someone's gotta be guarding something as important as the Exuvia. Huh? Look! What happened here? The middle of it. Uh-oh. Paimon smells trouble. Quick! We have to go make sure that the Exuvia is all right! Everything's okay, Dana. Everything's okay. Nothing... Everything. The music is totally not scary at all. All is good. You've already fulfilled your task as guides, so why do you still linger here? Haven't you already seen enough trouble for today? Huh? Who's there? Fucking ginger, dude. <sighs> if you were Fatui, I imagine that you would be entitled to a generous reward from the Tsaritsa herself. But now, you're nothing but dross, and you're in my way. Looks like I was just in time then. <laughs> Although I'm deeply grateful to you that I was able to effortlessly find this secret location. Don't you think that trying to stop me now would just be wasted effort? Stopping the more immense. Hiding away the Exuvia. <laughs> the Chising are really pulling out all the stops this time. Punch in the face. So you've been planning to take the Gnosis from inside the Exuvia all along? <sighs> Paimon. <laughs> As one of the eleven Fatui Harbingers, it's my duty to see the will of the Tsaritsa fulfilled. She will get that which she desires. Not if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> I'm not asking for your blessing, and there's nothing you can do to stop me anyway. Punching you in the face. The time for discussion and diplomacy has already passed. I mean, if it were up to me, I would have skipped that stage to begin with. But I'm willing to do as the Tsaritsa deems fit. Good night, Lord Artaban. Thanks for stopping by. And I hope you have a good night. Punch him, you will. 
Either way, we now come to my favorite part. A simple pleasure, and one that I am oh so delighted to be sharing with you. You like being punched in the face? The battle. Battle? So you're the type that goes looking for trouble, huh? <laughs> you could say that. <sighs> when Signora offended the deities outside the cathedral in Mondstadt, she swiftly left the scene once her mission was accomplished. Instead of confronting you directly, she chose to rely on the snow and ice to make her escape. She wouldn't want the knights to come running towards the sound of battle now, would she? When she faces a worthy opponent, she will prioritize her mission, weigh the outcomes, and consider the consequences of her actions. But as for me, the greatest pleasure of being a harbinger lies in crossing blades with strong opponents. We won't let what happened in Mondstadt ever happen again! Oh, so you intend to fight me? Good. I won't kill you, Traveler. I'll just play along, to feel the thrill of battle. Besides, you could never defeat me, not even in your wildest dreams. But hey, try to relish the fight anyway, because if you ask me, without that, what else is there? I could never defeat you? You're completely delusional. <laughs> Fighting talk, I love it. Now let's see you live up to it. This chance is hard to come by, so show me all you've got. So very few ever get the chance to square off with a Fatui Harbinger. So come now, amuse me, and don't you dare disappoint. Seriously. <laughs> Good. No wonder Senora was so wary of you. Well, that just means I can go all out. Brace yourself. This is about to get tough. Now, show me what you can do against the might of a harbinger. What's the coolant? Oh, so sorry. <laughs> Something else catch your eye? Wait, what? Oh. Not bad. Your swordsmanship is quite impressive. But that's about as far as you'll get. you had that card hidden up your sleeve. You were just playing us to get close to the Exodia! Oh, 
Quiet down. Stop acting like some wide-eyed recruit. You've seen this world. You of all people should know. This should have been expected. No! Well then, I'll be taking Morax's gnosis now. <gasps> huh? Oh! <laughs> I see. Well, this is most unexpected. You... You beat me to it, didn't you? <laughs> No, you this is not no. I'm not planning on dying here, dude. Die here. <laughs> She keeps going pew wee <laughs> like like this is fun.
Well then, time to cool off. It seems the burden of the foul legacy transformation was too great for my body. I lacked the opportunity to think this through. And now that I consider the matter more carefully, you never had any chance of beating me to the Gnosis. You had no connection to the Gnosis, no matter where it had been taken. That's what we've been trying to tell you! We didn't take it! Your show of ability today far surpasses that of Senora's initial assessment of you and Mondstadt. Tell me, how could that be? Because I'm gradually restoring my former power? I don't know. You already know the answer, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. But if that is a secret you wish to keep, I guess I'll just have to curb my curiosity. This battle has already left me satisfied. Anyone who strives as I do to grow stronger shall be called a friend. Even if our friendship can only be shown in battle against one another. You have a weird way of, like, showing friendship and stuff. I'm pretty sure that's not the normal way to make friends. There we go. Unfortunately, I must bring this amiable conversation to an end. My quest still beckons. I, didn't, I wouldn't call this a very amiable uh, conversation. Given that the Gnosis wasn't taken by anyone, then we must look once again to the beginning. Perhaps it was never in the Exuvia to begin with. Hmm. In fact, it might be that the Exuvia was just a diversion of sorts. What? So you mean that... Rex Lapis still lives? Yes, it appears so. Interesting to say the least. Then I know who it is. It all makes sense now. It seems that the guardian deity of the capital of commerce is also well versed in little maneuvers beyond the boundaries of contracts. As such, we must now look to our backup plan. Backup plan? I had hoped it would never come to this, for the weak will be swept away in the process. What? The truth is, the world belongs to those who pursue strength. I seldom willingly involve myself with the weak. Are you calling me weak? Unfortunately, we cannot be picky about our methods as Fatui Harbingers. Children must all learn to eat their vegetables sometime. So what are you planning to do? I don't like where this is going. I will awaken the god that lies dormant beneath Guyan's stone forest. What? A god? Osile, overlord of the Vortex, who was defeated by Morax, the GR Archon, in the Archon War, and who has remained pinned beneath the waves by the GR Archon's stone spears ever since. If such an ancient god would be unleashed upon Liyue Harbor, defenseless without the protection of its deity. What the fuck is up with this guy? Do you think the cunning Rex Lapis would just stand aloof and watch the ensuing destruction? But the Archon War ended 2,000 years ago. How can an ancient god appear in a world now overseen by the Seven? Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken it. No, what the fuck? Hey! Those are sigils of permission! Oh, Paimon remembers now. The Fatui have been researching them. You've been trying to duplicate them. Indeed. The one that was given to you was just a byproduct of our research. Damn it. With the power of so many sigils of permission concentrated in one place, along with that which was bestowed upon me as a harbinger by our Tsaritsa, breaking the subduing might of the Geoarchon spears for a time should be no obstacle. Using the powers of ancient gods in such a situation fails to interest me, and is largely against my principles. But knowing that such an action will not only force the Geo Archon to show its hand, but you as well, that makes matters a little more intriguing. Bye, Bufu! Oh god. No! He's completely messed up in the head. Why do so many people like him then? Oh no, this is bad. No. No, this is not good. 
Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? If you wish to drown together with the people of Nia, you're free to stay and enjoy the show. <laughs> I'm exhausted. If we hadn't happened to see the Jade Chamber flying over just as we came out of the Golden House, we really wouldn't have known which way to go. <sighs> Did we make it in time? Is the Overlord of the Vortex still in the sea? It hasn't destroyed Leila yet, has it? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Huh? Hold on. It's the Adept Guy. What are you doing on the Jade Chamber? Paimon thought you were arguing with the chi Sing. Is the fighting over? Faced with a calamity of such magnitude, we have agreed to put our differences aside for now. Hey, and look. unite against this common enemy. Tea Lady's there too! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paimon gets it. So how do you plan to defend Leela? Eh. Just seeing this Overlord of the Vortex guy puts a pit in Paimon's tummy, even from all the way out here. It's not just you. We've got new Millilith recruits who can't even stand at attention without shaking. The force of an ancient god's presence seems to be too much for ordinary people to handle. Which is why we must stop that monster before it gets any closer to Liyue Harbor. So the Archon War was fought 2,000 years ago against enemies like that thing? Now that's scary. Yeah. <sighs> what? Why is he so gr- Well, I know why he's- Well, I will be grumpy too, but- So will the power of the chi Sing, Millilith, and Adepti gathered here be enough to stop that god? We- We need help. We've already discussed this together. And our conclusion is not necessarily. Wait, but 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 Rex Lapis isn't dead. He can come help us. What? Wait, all of you are supposed to be the guardians of Lilith. One certainly could. Yes. Huh? The Chi Sing did once research the matter of the Guizhong Ballista when it piqued their fancy. Okay. And as fate would have it. One who did craft the Guizhong Ballista with one's own hands is here. Chong Li! For what could you mortals ever learn of Adepti mechanisms? Yet it would take one but a little tinkering to turn this Ballista into an engine of war beyond your wildest thoughts. <laughs> I suppose this is one blessing from the Adepti that we should be thankful for. So be it. We shall use the upgraded Guizhong Ballista to fight off that god. All the Adepti here can lend their strength to man it. We haven't a moment to spare. Our battle begins now. I'm not ready. I wasn't ready for yeah. this. <laughs> Damn, okay.
I'm not ready. The three adept are manning the Guizhong Ballista. Do not let the Fatui disturb their work. All able Millilith, with me. Let's go help you. We adept I have not faced a god in several millennia. Let one see what you are made of then. What strength remains within you? One wishes to witness. Sile's divine power. I am very familiar with it. Be careful not to get hit. Oh God! I'll protect us. <laughs> the Fatui! Their attacks are unrelenting. <laughs> How daring! Snezhnaya's diplomats will answer for this afterward. Every last one. Damn, this one isn't doing too hot. Child, you are strong in body and spirit. Perhaps you can withstand three forms of adeptal energy at once. This will hurt a little. Please go with us. Once you've adapted, try to use them in battle.
worse to come, right? Oh no! Let me leave you a verse, huh? Max is black! are no more. Now we may commit ourselves fully. We did it? Oh no, we didn't. Careful now. Mm. The Guizhong Ballista is destroyed. Huh? Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no matter what. I have another idea. Uh, what do you mean, Lady Ningguang? I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. What is the meaning of this? I understand. Traveler, lend me a hand. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future. Uh, Holy fuck. The ominous aura of that monster has indeed begun to fade. The effects of the sigil of permission last but a short time. It will be some time before the Overlord of the Vortex can make any waves again. We are indebted to you for your assistance. If the Adepti hadn't happened to be here, the future of Liyua Harbor would surely have been in great jeopardy. Save your flattery. We didn't just happen to be here. Surely you won't pretend to have forgotten the reason for which we came. Come now. There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud Retainer. I've heard that when Ningguang began learning to do business, 
she had already started setting aside part of her then limited income in preparation for building the Jade Chamber. At first, it was only the size of a small room, but with continued expansion, it has become the palace that lies before you now. It is a testament to Ningguang's entire life, both as a businesswoman and as the backbone of the Liyue Qixing. Seeing the Jade Chamber destroyed in the defense of Liyue means much to her. To me, such cooperation and sacrifice deserves at least some recognition, don't you agree? I do. Well, I was really hoping you would say that such sacrifice could at least be used as some leverage in our negotiations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for hearing me out. We know very well why the Adepti came here today. But please forgive us. We cannot yield to your wishes. Oh? 3,700 years. According to our records, the Adepti signed a contract with Rex Lapis to protect Liyue 3,700 years ago. Even to this very day, Liyue and its lands have stood the test of time, immovable as stone, just as it was thousands of years before. This is truly no small feat. But that does not mean that the Liyue of today is the same city as it was all those years ago. That is true. Do not merely cast your protective gaze upon the land. Instead, focus your sights on our city and each of the citizens that dwell within it. Are you questioning our means of protecting Liyue? Hmm... I mean no offense. I simply hope that our Adepti forebearers would see Liyue in a new light. Ha! <laughs> forebearers, you say? One doubts you would be fit to be part of such a lineage. This morning, Rex Lapis appeared to me in a dream. What? In the dream? I yearn to tell him that we Chi Sing, though mortal, are equally bound to the contract. Each passing generation of the Chi Sing leaves many things of value to be inherited by the next generation. I also thought to tell him how the past generations of Chi Sing had strove under his rule to survive in our mortal world, establishing a network of contracts which has since come to be known as trade. But I dared not speak. I could only gaze at him in silence until the moment I awoke. Oh, Ningguang. We're all on the same side here. Yet another perspective. What are you trying to say, Outlander? When there is discord between the Guardians and those they were meant to defend, harmony becomes very difficult to restore. Right! That's something that happened in Mondstadt. It's a story about the Four Winds and the people of the Animal Archon. The Animal Archon sought to quell the strife between the two sides, because he believed that such conflict would only scar the hearts of both, and that nothing good would come of it. This is what we learned in the City of Freedom. Each of the Seven Nations has its own scars from the past. Though your point is the very height of simplicity, as Adepti, we've become a laughingstock to be chastised thus by an outlander who has lent us such succor. All right, all right. Didn't Ning Wong suggest that we should focus on the city and each of its citizens? I know I already have, so why not see for yourselves? I apologize for appearing in full armor. I am afraid I cannot show the proper courtesies. And who are you? I am Feng Yan, a sergeant of the Millilith. I have come to extend my thanks to the Adepti. I thought this battle would perhaps be my last. But thanks to the aid of the Adepti, our forces were not as badly battered as I feared we might be. Although I am a mere mortal soldier, I promise to hold the line and never betray the grace given to us by the illuminated Adepti this day. Hmm. <laughs> Why does everyone look so down? Didn't we just beat that big monster? Right? <laughs> Weren't you frightened, dear? It was quite the predicament. I wasn't afraid. All the strong Millilith guards were there, and those powerful heroes with their visions were there. 
everyone was there. When danger is near, everyone always protects me. And the rest of the time, they make fun mm -hmm. toys and tasty snacks and, and and loads of things that make the harbor so pretty. Thanks for protecting Liyue Harbor. Please come visit us for the next lantern rite. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to participate. Oh, don't be such a downer. <laughs> huh? Because we are adepti. Oh, okay. It must be hard being an adeptus. Right? Aww. Poor girl. See, this is what Liyue is like today. The country of contracts is grateful to the adepti for their protection. But it is no longer necessary for the city to rely on the Adepti's power to solve every little niggling matter. True. Although their blood is weak, there is still strength to be found in those we call mortals. The time of contracts between gods and Liyue has long since passed. Now is the time of contracts between Liyue and its people. Hmm. Seeing the port around us now, it is hard not to feel a bit out of place. Wouldn't you say so, Cloud Retainer? Your line of inquiry is askew. One did not spearhead this expedition to Liyue Harbor. Hmm. Seems like the Adepti have had a change of heart. They've listened to what the people have said, and they're trying to understand things from their perspective. Let us return now. Eager to leave, conqueror of demons. <laughs> he just wants his tofu. Yes, one understands what the conqueror of demons means. The city of Liyue has changed much after our long separation. One fears that by the time one finally grasps the new contracts of Liyue, you humans would have once again changed the place beyond recognition. Fair enough. Away we shall, and return whence we came. <sighs> Since we Adepti have consensus, then one shall persist no further. But how will we ensure that the Liyue Chising will not simply exploit their power once we depart? In my view, that is still a thing to be guarded against. <laughs> All right, Moon Carver, you needn't worry. It seems to me that this right of supervision is best left to the people of Liyue. Man, Madame Ping is great. <sighs> Looks like the conflict between humans and Adepti was avoided. All's well that ends well, huh? You can say that again. All right. It's nice that we've got peace and all, but we're forgetting one thing. Child wanted to unleash the god so he could lure Rex Lapis out. But we were able to handle the Overlord of the Vortex on our own. So Rex Lapis never showed up. Oh, and speaking of that, don't we still need to get to the bottom of that Archon's death, too? Right. Hyman doesn't get it. But isn't the strongest lead we have the Adeptilus Rite of Parting that we're organizing? No idea where Zhang Li's gone. Let's ask for him at Wangsham Funeral Parlor. Sure, let's go there. Um, I'm just gonna teleport here. Quest is not over. That's okay. Damn it! I knew it. I knew like, I knew once I started this quest, uh, it was gonna take a bit. It's fine. Let's look for Zhang Li. I've never been here. <gasps> Kitty. H Hello. Is there anything I can do for you two? I'm afraid that Wangsheng Funeral Parlor isn't in the best state to receive guests. Oh. We've come to see Zhang Li. Could you please tell him we're here? Unfortunately, Zhang Li isn't here at the moment. It seems he went to Northland Bank. Doesn't the Northland Bank belong to the Fatui? Last time we saw Zhang Li was before we went to the Golden House. 
Do you think he doesn't know about the attack on Lyra? Visiting the Fatui at a time like this could only mean more trouble. We had better go and make sure that everything is okay. Oh, good evening. This is the Northland Bank. Oh. I thought I said to enter. Apparently I didn't. I was like, huh? You call this cooperation between Harbingers? Cooperation involves communication, you know. <laughs> Don't take it to heart, child. Besides, aren't you happy that you got to skip the formalities and bring chaos to the land? I'm sure you must have enjoyed that. Oh, it seems that some of your friends have arrived. Punch in the face again. Hey, it's Young Lee and Child. And you, you're also one of the Harbingers? Senora. <laughs> it's you two. I believe we've met once before. In the city of Bards, was it? I'm glad you still remember my name. I wish I didn't. Ah, right. I imagine that it must have been rather hard to forget watching helplessly as something precious was snatched away from your friend. Breed, just stay calm. Well, if it isn't you two, this is our first time seeing each other since Liyue was nearly wiped off the map. This is certainly a bit awkward, wouldn't you say? I don't like him. <laughs> Paimon knew that we should never have trusted a Fatui Harbinger. Oh, now don't say that. Sure, I may have misled you, but I never had anything against you personally. Well, I do. Besides, I thought we were getting along quite well together, didn't you? Except for that little tussle we had at the end. <laughs> yeah, little tussle. Nothing personal. We just have different views, that's all. Of course, you may very well hold this against me, but... That's up to you. The real deceivers here are Senora and Zhang Li. Curse them for leading me on. Senora and Zhang Li? So actually, I think. Stop wasting time, child. There'll be plenty of time to chat once I'm through here. You remember the agreement, Morax. Now, if you would be so kind. The Gnosis, please. Agreement? What in the world are you talking about? <sighs> The contract is fulfilled. That which thou seeketh is now bestowed unto thee. For my promise is solid as stone. <sighs> How sanctimonious. I mean, I did say it earlier, but still. Why are you giving away your noses? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> no, wait. That's an exciting twist and all, but why give the noses to the Fatui? I do not give it for free. I give it as agreed upon in the contract. For it is a matter solely between the Tsaritsa and I. I'm afraid I don't understand. Yeah, you don't think you went a little bit too far with that whole fake death thing? Preparing the ceremony for you, and splat! This big dragon falls out of the sky, and all of Lyra goes into an uproar. Talk about a disaster. <laughs> Gathering all the forces that had been bubbling behind the scenes, and then stirring them together in a pot that was bound to boil over. That's what he wanted to see, am I right? Wait, what? Perhaps it's best 
that I explain. Yes. Yes, I think that is indeed best. As you know, I've dwelt upon this world for more than 6,000 years. It is now 3,700 years ago that I founded Liyue together with the Adepti. Okay. Even boulders that can withstand whirlpools will erode with the passing of time. I kept convincing myself that cracks had not begun to form, and that the end of my time had not yet come. Okay. Until one drizzly day, as I was strolling along the harbor, I heard a merchant tell one of his workers, You finished your duties. Go ahead and call it a day. I stood motionless among the crowds, asking myself, have I already finished my duties? Oh, Zhang Li. But as I began to consider relinquishing my divine role, I soon discovered that many reasons still remain to not hastily depart. Okay. Was Liyue, the city I had dwelt in for so long, already prepared to enter its next age? I decided that a test was needed in order to reveal the answer. So I feigned my own death and gathered the cast of Child, the Adepti, and the Liu Chising to play their roles together on the stage that was Liu. So were you satisfied with the finale? Indeed I was. The Gnosis, which I had kept for so many years, suddenly seemed to have lost its meaning. <gasps> That's right. Which is why I continued to safeguard the Gnosis until now. So you mean that if the Chaos ever reached the point of no return, you would simply appear and use your divine powers to bring Leela back under control? Of course. And it would have been all too easy for him, too. Just as a child quickly matures after losing their parents, so has Liu matured when faced with the death of its deity. In the end, the resolution to all that has transpired was even more satisfactory than I could have hoped for. Take the Adepti, for instance. Owing to their years of seclusion, they were the least informed. Yet when faced with a crisis, they commendably showed the greatest amount of restraint possible. Not only did they manage to cooperate with the Qixing, but in the end, they even made efforts to understand the hearts of the people. Credit is also due to Signora, the emissary dispatched by the Cryo Archon to fulfill our contract. At my request, she kept everything she knew in strict confidence. This despite the eavesdropping ears of her colleague, Child. This meant I could remain as Zhongli, even having the chance to fulfill the age-old traditions of Liu in this mortal form. Thank you for joining me on this journey, Traveler. You're welcome. All of these things turned out as I had planned. There is only one thing that I had not anticipated, and that was the conduct of the Liu Qixing. I had expected them to do no more than the Adepti, to come to the defense of Liu. But when all was said and done, they seized the opportunity to supplant Liu as divine protectors and used the subsequent power vacuum left by my death to quickly gain complete control of Liu. Huh? That doesn't sound good at all! Ha! <laughs> On the contrary. I think it is excellent. I had always feared that it was too soon for them to take over from me. And it was also that which I longed for the most. As such, this is the best parting gift anyone could have given this god of old. Okay. Hey, what about me? Doesn't anyone feel the least bit of remorse for deceiving me? No. You've practically kept me in the dark. No. <laughs> I think that thanks would be more appropriate. You certainly played no small part in all of this. Wreaking havoc and turning the city upside down. The Lord of Geo ought to thank you for your performance, if anything. If you hadn't created the pressure of a battle between mortals, a Depti, and a god, 
the lump of coal resting in the hands of the Geo Archon, Liyue would never have been able to become a dazzling diamond of a city. Okay, bye, Hira. I'll be uploading the vault anyway, so you can catch like the last bit of it still. I finished Liyue? Really? This is it? Huh? Just whose side are you on, mocking me like that? Are you itching for a fight? We were both equally fooled. Be that as it may, you've come out of this as the hero of Liyue. I, on the other hand, will be forever prescribed as a disturber of the peace, no? Haha, <laughs> sucks to be you, child. <laughs> well then, with the Gnosis in my possession, I have no use for such idle chatter. We should return to Zapoyarni Palace and seek an audience with Her Majesty, the Saritza. Come, child. Ah, fine. I'll meet you there later. I'm not sharing a boat with the likes of you. <laughs> Do as you wish, child triggered. I don't know if this was good or bad. Now then, is there anything else you wish to ask me? I... I... What could possibly be word of gnosis? Right! As Zhang Li always told us, a good trade is a fair trade. Paimon has no idea what could be a good trade for a gnosis. Realistically speaking, there is no such thing. Okay, then why did you do it? Huh? However, I am the god of contracts. For thousands of years, I have made countless contracts. Okay. If the deal was of no benefit, then I certainly would not be inclined to agree to it. Okay. My agreement with the Cryo Archon will be the last of my contracts as the Geo Archon. My contract to end all contracts. As for the bargaining chip that the Tsaritsa used to balance the scales, uncover that answer for yourself in your future journeys. Damn it. We still don't know if it's good or bad. I guess we have to wait until, like, what's the area called? Shnaznaya? Damn it. Damn it. Dude. Paimon can't absorb so much information at once. Me neither. So, Zhang Li, what sort of contract did you sign with the Cryo Archon? Paimon's so curious. One of the clauses of our contract was not to divulge any of its contents. Why do you have to be the god of contracts? Of course you're not gonna leak it now. Ugh, you're so petty. He is. Damn you! I still want you, though. Still want you in my team. After the dust set. Today's the day of the rite of parting. Although the star of the show is fate, we spent so much time trying to organize it, it would be a real shame not to go there now. True. Let's let's see what all our hard work. La la la. Has brought. Well, since we're going through with this rite of parting, I guess it means that those rumors hit the nail on the head. So Rex Lapis is really... <sighs> but they didn't catch the culprit, did they? Oh, come on. Do you think that the assassin could have been a normal person? You know what I think. I don't think any of the gossip on the streets you hear from those shady types is worth anything. Mm. There's only one real possibility in my mind. I've heard that the assassin was that Fatui fellow. Youngish, pretty high in rank. I think they called him child. Child's reputation forever ruined in Liwei. Fatui? Hmm. 
They certainly are very suspicious. Who knows what those greedy, crooked folks... Shh! Lower your voice. If the Fatui catch you in their sights, Rex Lapis won't be around to protect you this time. You know that god from the ocean couldn't have just shown up out of nowhere. I mean, it's been 2,000 years since Rex Lapis subdued it. Yes, and to think that this happened right on the heels of the incident with Rex Lapis, too. <laughs> Say, do you think the person who assassinated our lord and released that evil god might have been one and the same? Now that you mention it, that's very possible. Yes, it's very possible indeed. I mean, it all fits together. That person must have colluded with the evil god to harm Rex Lapis. Oh, that wicked, black-hearted scoundrel. Still, what sort of supernatural prowess must this person possess to be able to do such things? I have never heard of such a person in all my years. Ah, forget it. Guessing's no use to us. Look, the Millilith over there looks like he's about to make an announcement. Let's hear what the Ministry of Civil Affairs has to say first. I quickly have to do something, then I will continue. You're putting all the blame on poor innocent child. I don't care. <laughs> Hear ye all the Chi Sing's words. Though a dragon soars ageless as the mountains, it too must return to dust. Mm. This is common knowledge. Gods and Adepti live glorious lives, but both light and shadow have their season. Mm -hmm. So too must they face divinely appointed trials. Rumors and hearsay abound on the streets that Rex Lapis was murdered. Now, let the truth be revealed. Having been thwarted in his trial, Rex Lapis's soul has recouped the celestial heights. He beseeches the people of Lyra to grieve not and to let not their hearts be saddened. Nor are they to believe street-born rumors or indulge in baseless speculation. Okay. Uh, um, Diamond needs a translation on what the Chi Sing's announcement said. They said that Rex Lapis wasn't murdered. <sighs> so that's how they're spinning it. Something feels off. Why would they suddenly give up looking for the murderer? Not to mention how this excuse sounds like something they just made up on the spot. Could the Cheesing already have known that Rex Lapis wasn't dead? But Zhang Li said that neither they nor the Adepti knew anything. Hmm. Did Zhang Li tell them in secret after his gnosis changed hands? I think you've hit the bullseye this... Oh, no, that's possible. Exactly, right? Ooh, seems like the right of farting has been going on for a while now. Let's go have a look. It's Ningguang and Kuching. Are they saying something? Are their speeches over? As said previously, Rex Lapis's soul returning to the heavens is the end of the contract. And it is also the end of an era. 3,700 years of contracts burnt and reduced to ash. We, the people of Liyue, were indeed prosperous. <sighs> but blinded by our prosperity, we forgot that time can be pitiless. It's her. The long, unending dream of our Archon walking among us. Hmm. Now that we have awoken from our dream, we must learn to say farewell. 
Will you stand with us as we reestablish our contracts? As we build a new age of prosperity? So concludes the words of Her Eminence the Tianquan. Does Her Eminence the Yuhang have anything to add? Huh? Is she looking this way? Traveler. Mm. Yikes! She really is looking our way! Is that the Traveler who they say defeated the ancient god? So young! The Liyue Qixing always repay their debts. And as you have heard, our eyes see far, and our reach is long. Okay! Name your price. You deserve that much. Whoa! Sh no, Paimon, no. Don't look at me. <laughs> well, could you help me put up some missing person posters? No! No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she speaks. <laughs> that's that's great. That is that is actually great. Oh, you don't know. What do you mean? I don't know, Ruth. The ones a region speaking like, yeah. You can, yeah, you can ask anything you want. Do I have to talk to her? Like, can I talk to them? It's... Oh, oh she... Oh, thank God. Hello. <laughs> And to think I'd put my best perfume on before coming here, thinking you'd like it. But it seems as if those perfumes really were meant to be offered to Rex Lapis. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Suffer no rivals in love, they say. And that's three gone in one stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, Rex Lapis. Oh, Rex Lapis. Hmm. Now that I think about it, if everyone's of the same mind as me, mm. perhaps mementos for Rex Lapis might be the best short-term business opportunity. Business. Lol. As for the mortals and adepti of Liyue, what shape shall our relationship take from now on? Look for Zhong Li. Hello. Hey, Zhong Li. <clears throat> Look at this. Everyone in Liu is caught up in their emotions, thinking that they'll never see Rex Lapis again. And here you are looking all relaxed. <laughs> Why would I not feel more at ease after laying down the burden I have borne for 3,700 years? I guess that makes sense. Right. If the two of you can spare the time, I should treat you to a meal at the Shinya kiosk. We're having another date! Like big talk, Zhongli. Paima might have believed you if you were treating us to some third round knockout, but you'd have to pay out your nose just to stand inside Shinyue Kiosk. Are you sure you can afford it? <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> hmm. You're right. I do like the Mora. You've been this way this entire time. But why would Morax lack Mora? As the Rex Lapis Morax, I can easily yeah. create Mora. Yeah. But since I have chosen to walk this earth as the mortal Zhongli, I should abide by the same rules that mortals do. Work? When I was journeying with you, though I still had the Gnosis in <clears> hand, 
I knew that I must soon retire from my role as an Archon. So I had to rehearse a little oh. for my new life. Great. Oh, no wonder. Paimon gets it now. You didn't look at the price tags when we were spending because you've never had to. That's what I said. He looks like he had never, you know. But since you weren't used to not being able to just make more Mora as and when you wanted to, you had to try becoming a parasite to society who lives off of other people's credit. Oh. Well, we were only spending Fatui money. You don't have to say it like that. In the city of commerce, we do not merely exchange money or goods. We also exchange knowledge, memories, and foresight, as well as positions, roles, and lives. The Archon Morax could never experience life as the true mortal Zhongli could, no matter how many times he descended to be with his people. Mm. <laughs> I must thank you for that. You're welcome. I will treasure the memories that I made as Zhongli, traveling the streets of Liyue with you. It was a fine journey. That is true. But there is no journey that does not end. No meetings without partings. Hmm. Paimon thinks that we should make a move and continue our search for the Seven. I fear that continuing your journey may be difficult. The nation that neighbors Liyue by sea in Azuma is presently closed. Closed? Yes. The nation has been closed by order of its deity. The Electro Archon Ball. And just as the people of Liyue preferred to call me Rex Lapis, she too goes by another name among locals in Inazuma. Um, Paimon thinks we've heard that one before. Uh, Ry Raiden? That is the case. And since Raiden is also the Shogun of Inazuma, people call her the Raiden Shogun. The Shogun? That said, though people at the wharf were saying that the situation in Inazuma is very tense, Paimon doesn't remember that always being the case. It wasn't that bad last year. Zhongli, since you're Rex Lapis, shouldn't you know something about what's happening there? Just how did Inazuma become a closed nation? It's because of visions. Huh. Visions? When faced with circumstances beyond their control, humans often bemoan their lack of power. Mm -hmm. But if a person shows true strength of will at a desperate and fateful moment in their life, the gods will look upon them with favor. This is what visions are. Magical foci bestowed upon those who have been acknowledged by the gods. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. That's how people in Tibet see it. But starting from last year, the Raiden Shogun began promulgating the Vision Hunt Decree. Vision Hunt Decree? Yes. It was an order to seize all visions within Inazuma's borders and to inlay them upon the hands of the statue of the omnipresent god. They want to seize visions. But why? Aren't visions blessings from the gods? I should think that in the Raiden Shogun's eyes, it is precisely because they are divine blessings that they should be under the sole dominion of divinity. Whoa, that's harsh. That's harsh indeed. The Animo Archon is the god of freedom. And the Geo Archon is the god of contracts. For her part, the Raiden Shogun is the god of eternity. It seems as though she has finally decided to eliminate any unstable elements that could pose a threat to her eternal realm. The fact that even I, the oldest of the seven, have now passed away will only strengthen her resolve to pursue eternity. Knowing her, she must have again quoted that adage she is most fond of when proclaiming that decree to her people. Seven ideals for seven gods. And of these, eternity is nearest unto the heavenly principles. Heavenly principles. All right then. Was there anything else you wish to know? So much more. So about the trial. <laughs> ah, that was a good one. Failing a divine trial. How they came up with that excuse, I will never know. 
That said, the reason why the Chi Sing were so eager to resolve the incident and stop pursuing the culprit was indeed because they received news in secret that Rex Lapis was not dead. I hinted as much to the Adepti as well. How did I accomplish that, you ask? Hmm. Uh, have you ever heard of this particularly convenient Adepti art known as gifting dreams and visions? All right, then. Was there anything else you wished to know? About, about that dude. Yeah, about that. Before the Cheesing made their announcement, we listened to a lot of people talking on the way. Most of them put the blame for everything on Child. These are indeed false accusations. But it remains undeniably true that Child did send people to the Jade Chamber to prevent the Adepti and the Cheesing from defeating the Ancient God. I've heard that Ningguang is busy milking that for all it's worth on the foreign relations front at the moment, browbeating the envoys of the Fatui. Ha! <sighs> Those poor Snezhnayan diplomats. If it were not for Child's exalted position as a harbinger, I'm certain that they would have shifted all the blame to him and called for his dismissal by now. All right then. Was there anything else you wish to know? As for the Liwei Chi thing? The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liu Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liu? Kuching is absolutely right in saying this. Now, though I did laud Ningguang's desire for power, believing this to be a good thing, and thought as a matter of course that she must have been behind the Qixing's plan to take governing power over Liu from the hands of the gods and Adepti, could the original person who brought up the idea of seizing power have been... Hmm... Hmm... All right then. Was there anything else you wished to know? Now about Mora. That's right! Zhongli, now that you don't have your Gnosis, what's going to happen to all the Mora in Tibet? Since Morax is dead, are they all just gonna disappear? Also, isn't the Golden House the only mint in the entire continent? Will it even continue to work? The Mora present now will not vanish. But the Golden House will indeed have to cease operations for a lengthy period of time. Since creating Mora requires the use of the Geo Archon's power. Damn. <sighs> this is terrible. We're all about to run out of Mora. The world is coming to an end. Oh, God. Yes. This is indeed a major issue from a financial standpoint. Yes. Uh, well, I suppose we'll just leave such troublesome matters to the Liu Qixing to debate. He's just like, not my problem anymore. <laughs> then, did you at least set some private funds aside for yourself? He probably didn't. Oh, a private fund. Hmm. This does seem like a good logical common sense idea. Oh. <sighs> It's a shame. It really is. What's a shame? He didn't do it. It's a shame that I didn't think of it at the time. All right, then. Was there anything else you wished to know? Nope, I'm good. Well, then. I suppose you'll have to find a way to get inside this closed nation. Have patience. I suspect that some serendipity must first come into play. Damn. We did it. <gasps> A teapot to call home. Protocol? Protocol, where are you? Hi, Zhongli. I am going to the uh, adventure thing. Song Lee be like, whoops, yep. Yep, he's like, whoops. He has a job, right? He'll be fine. Can I get anything? No. 
fine. Goodbye. Which... Oof. We're very close to 29, but then we need to get to 30. Let me get... Um, wow, that's a lot of achievements. Yes. Give me those Primo gems. I need them. Song Lee's coming. <laughs> I need everything that I can get. Clear is afraid. Damn. There are quite a couple. Oh no, wait. This is still also. Stuff. There's so many things. What's that? Prelude. Oh, there's so much to do. There's so much to do. What a stream. I didn't think uh, I was gonna be playing um, Act 3. Also, this was a very long stream. Look at that, almost six hours. Just because I wanted to, I wanted to do the that Archon quest, but we did it. That's nice. Then we can make some. We can do a lot of fun things on Sunday. Actually, like we have all these quests, including the teapot one. Um. We actually have weird looking lizard. Want me to show it to you? No, wrong thing. We uh ooh. Oh. See like all these things. Also, we have enough keys to unlock a hangout with a couple of people so that is something that we can do on sunday as well you can farm all the talents on sunday there you go we can do lots of farming on sunday as well maybe i'll try try to go uh live an hour earlier or something i'll see uh but yeah there's lots of things that we can do on sunday <laughs> 